and welcome hello everyone my name is tyrone glover for those of you who don't know me uh i'm a teacher and i am a financial literacy i'm going to just say call myself an expert because on my show if you haven't seen my show on youtube or soul city network uh my friends my colleagues everyone who knows me they call me their financial guru they call me their financial expert am i an expert in that area of meaning that i went to school and i learned all of that financial talk and expressions and things of that nature no i'm just someone who decided to take it upon themselves to learn the things that they needed to learn and this is why i do what i do so i want to welcome you to my program here at the yonkers public library i do this every single saturday every single Saturday, starting at one o'clock. I had some guests earlier, so this is why I'm coming to this broadcast a little bit later than I normally would. But today, I wanna to be talking about not my normal topic, but it all ties in. I'm not gonna be talking about my normal topic, I'm gonna be talking about some things that have really, over the last year, two, three, clearly since that last guy had left the office, and now that the new guy is in the office, I wanna make this abundantly clear. I don't care who you vote for. I do not care who you vote for. You want to vote for Biden. You want to vote for Trump. You want to vote for one of them third party individuals. That is completely up to you. I am not here to tell you who to vote for. What I am here to do today is help the guy who's currently in that office do what he needs to do to make sure that we understand why we are the United States of America. It's becoming ever clearer and clearer and clearer that we don't know what we are actually wanting from our country. It's becoming ever clearer and clearer that we are not sure what governing is and what ruling is. Do we want to be governed or do we want to be ruled? You have to decide today, folks. You don't have to decide today, but decide by November 5th. Make it abundantly clear by November 5th what it is that you want. I didn't get to listen to the whole Biden uh, speech yesterday because I was in school as a teacher. I'm doing my part as a teacher. I'm doing my part. I'm making sure that our kids are informed, that our kids are educated, that our kids have the abilities to move out of that circumstance that they may find their parents in or grandparents in or great grandparents in. We have to decide, is it democracy or is it autocracy or is it dictatorship? Or is it democracy? You're going to have to make a choice and that choice is now right in front of you. It won't be gone until November 5th. And I hope the courts, I hope whatever uh, uh, Congress, I hope whatever these states are gonna do, I hope they figure it out one way or another because the constitution is pretty much clear, cut and dry. They didn't know about the circumstances that they were. we were finding ourselves in some 200 years later I'm sure the framers of had decided and said, hey, there's some things that we want, there's some things that we don't want, but we hope that the generations coming behind us will figure it out that America, the experiment of democracy, is the best place to execute that. We've led the charge. We haven't gotten everything right, but we've led the charge on making sure that we were doing things in the manner in which it upheld that, what we call the Constitution. And it's ever so clear. But, but unfortunately, we have these individuals who, for whatever reason, think that we're supposed to just bow down to whoever they are. That's not governing, folks. I went over with my class yesterday, and I think everybody should go back and take a look at that nationalized uh, uh, test that everybody, that, that the individuals who want to be citizens of this country have to take. I think everybody needs to go back to it and review some of those questions on that actual, the actual test. Because if you are not sure, if you don't have a clue, there's it, nothing wrong with going back and taking a look. Do I know some of the things? Do I know all of the things? Can I even explain to my children what the Constitution is? What does it actually mean? How does it actually help us? But it's been ever so clear as I can literally sit here before you today and tell you, we are heading down a pathway that is not going to do what we want this country to do. And it is, it, it's disturbing. It is disturbing 
to see, to hear what I'm hearing today, to witness what I'm seeing today, to experience what I'm experiencing today. It is sad. It is disturbing that adults would rather be ruled than have a democracy, have the choice, freedom of choice. Believe it or not, and you can believe whatever you want to believe, you have less rights today than I did when I was sitting in the classroom. Less rights today. And more of those rights are going to constantly keep getting eroded. More and more are going to get taken away, stolen. Whatever it is that you think that's not going to, it's going to happen. Because too many of us do not know. We don't understand democracy. We don't know how it works. We don't know how it's supposed to do what it's supposed to do for all of its citizens. Not just a select few of the citizens, but all of its citizens. And it's unfortunate. It's sad. It's disturbing. It bothers me to high heaven that I even have to stop my program that I normally talk about, which is financial literacy, making sure that we all have the ability to live in this country financially free, stable. The understanding is that, hey, you know what? I'm going to have to work for it. I'm going to have to put some money to the side. I'm going to have to make sure that I create the life that I want, even with or without government involvement. We know what government is supposed to do, but unfortunately, the way that we've been going over the last, not again, the last guy who's been in there did some stuff to this country that the new guy is actually fixing. And it's sad to have to say this, and I'm going to say it because this is the God's honest, my truth. My truth. All of this came to fruition because America was ready for a black president. America was ready for the black president, but guess who wasn't ready for the black president? The leadership was not ready for a black president. Congress wasn't ready for a black president. Business leaders across this country wasn't ready for a black president. Leaders of financial institutions, leaders of ac academic facilities, leaders across this uh, uh, American nation were not ready to have a president in that office who did not look like the previous president. But the country was ready for it. The country was ready to hear a name that wasn't as common as Joe, Jim, John, James. So we got a name that was so unfamiliar that it scared all of these leaders. Barack Hussein Obama. Because you know who wanted that? The nation wanted it. The citizens of this country wanted it. Not only did they want it once, but they wanted it twice. And every leader. Not every leader, I'm not going to throw all of them into that bunch, but for the most part, a lot of you leaders did not. Yo, it's up in arms. Even some of those leaders who look like me. Oh, yeah, don't think we forgot, Mr. Jesse James, J Jesse Jackson. Don't think we forgot the things that you were saying behind closed doors. And this is where you guys get so comfortable about yourselves behind closed doors. You won't say that to a person's face, but you'll go behind closed doors. Talk about how much you disapprove of. And that's where it all began. Because guess who came with President Obama? The Tea Party. The Tea Party came with President Obama because the country itself was ready for change, but leadership was not ready for change. So they said, let's go out and let's find some of the most egregious individuals that we can find. And let's start introducing them into the world of politics. And it just escalated from there. We went from the Tea Party to MAGA extremists. We went from the Tea Party because the country itself was so disillusioned that we had a black guy in there who was doing way more than any other president prior to. I'm not going to say way more. I'm going to repent that. I'm going to take that back. Wasn't doing way more, but he was doing more to help citizens, all citizens. Even though he was this color, he was doing everything to help all citizens as all presidents should do. I'm not a political guy because I didn't even vote for a lot of these presidents prior to because I didn't know nothing about it. In school, when I went to school, I did understand that they had civics in school. 
I did understand that they had government in school. I understood that they had certain things. But as I got older, it got kind of boring and it got kind of mundane and it got kind of, I guess, I guess for everybody, it was the same thing. But as I got more and more educated and started seeing some of these horrible things happening within our government after the uh, after Obama and the Tea Party, then we got this Trumper person who brought out the vitriol, the nasty, the guttural, horrible things that this country was attempting to put away. He brought it back. It lied dormant for decades. Read its ugly head with the Tea Party, but then Trump and his Trumpets went out there and just dug up every single horrible, nasty, disgusting bitterness that anybody had. And now he's got everybody on that right threatening them. How does the president threaten another person? You're supposed to be the upholder. You're supposed to be that top notch niche guy, however you want to call it. But you're out there threatening people. They're either for you or they're against you. And if they're against you, you're now putting their families in harm's way. We got the courts who look like the jokes, arguing the, the, the most horrendous things ever that I can honestly say I've ever heard in my entire life. I'm not a lawyer, but I am a common sense citizen. I'm someone who understands that what these lawyers are attempting to argue have no basis. One of Trump's legal situations that he's currently in the judge said himself that his argument doesn't have no basis in fact or in law, but yet he has lawyers arguing it because he's got what? He's got that bread. You guys are grifters. You guys are carnies. You guys are a laughing stock and you're making the judicial process look even worse. And I hope that the Supreme Court finally gets its act together. I didn't watch the whole Biden speech, but I have part of it here that I would like to play. You might not be able to see it all, but I want you to listen to some of the words. I want you to walk away today with an understanding that you are going to have to figure it out one way or another. What do you want and who are we going to be? Because we know who Biden is. He doesn't run a crime family. OK, we know that. But you'd rather believe that garbage. He's had some issues with his boys. But you'd rather believe that 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 what is being said on the other side is truth when we know good and well that it's not. We know good and well that it's not. He might be old, and I keep saying it over and over and over, and I've said it many a time, and I'm going to say it again today. Joe, if you don't get yourself a cane, get yourself get yourself a pimp cane. I'm going to send you one to the hot to the, to the White House. I'm going to send you one, but you need to get yourself a cane. Stop walking around here looking like you're about to fall over a blade, of, a blade of grass. We get you. You're up there in age. You got that wisdom. You got that knowledge. But there's nothing wrong with having a cane. I remember watching Frasier. And if you haven't watched Frasier, go back and type it in your Google browser. I can't remember Frasier's dad's name right now. But he had that cane and he used to get around with that cane with no problem. I thought he was one of the coolest dudes with a cane ever. Yes. He was one of the coolest dudes ever. Excuse me for just a second. I got to open the door. Just welcome another guest. The guy from Frazier was one of the coolest dudes ever. And I'm going to say cool because he had a cane. And he used to get around that whole uh, that, 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 that that apartment of his. He used to get out there in the street, do his thing. And I thought it was cool. He never let his, his, his age or his debility keep him from. He still did what he needed to do. And this is what I'm telling Joe. Joe, get you a cane. Don't let that age prevent you or thinking that you have to appear strong. We know that you 80. It's okay. Be old. I'm old too. All the students tell me, oh my God, Mr. Glover, never knew you was that old. Never knew you was that old. But I live youthful. I keep myself in a youthful environment, a youthful understanding. 
But this today is something that we've got to look at. We have to decide who are we? What do we want of our government? Do we want our government to continue to keep doing what it's doing, which is hopefully adding more value to our lives? Or do we want government to go back to what that last guy who was in there to continue to keep doing? As I said before, when I started this, I do not care who you vote for. You can vote for, write your own name in if you want to. But at some point, we're going to have to decide, democracy or autocracy. We're going to have to decide what it is that we want. And I hope that we decide the right things. But I'm going to play this really quick, and then I'm going to jump back into my regular scheduled bro program of talking about what I talk about most. But this I had to put out there because it was near and dear to my heart. It is troubling that we have a court system today that is arguing over whether or not the constitution is qualification or disqualification or did he or did he not we got individuals doing some real outlandish stuff and these lawyers who again the courts need to strike these lawyers down they need to be disbarred they need to be removed from the practice of you're either for democracy or you're against democracy it can't be both you're either for this country or you are against this country. You are either an insurrectionist or you're someone who believes in the constitution, but you can't do both. And what you're portraying, what you're putting out there in the world is literally confusing to those who are uneducated. And that's what you wanted. You wanted to dumb down society. So you removed one of the basic understandings of civics from your academic preparation stages of K through 12 and in, high, and in college. You move financial literacy from K through 12 and in college, you only have a select few states who talk about the basics of whether or not we should have the rights to. As I said, you have less rights today than I had when I was in my 20s. And that's pretty sad. That's pretty sad to have to say. But we have a choice coming up here. And I'm going to be doing this every single Saturday, every single Saturday. I'm going to be talking for about 5 to 10, for maybe 15, 20 minutes about what democracy means. Do we want to still be a, dem a, a democratic re uh, a republic or do we want to be a banana republic? Because it looks like we're leaning more towards this banana republic. But I have faith. I have hope that we will do the right thing come November 5th. And should we choose not to? Should you guys, whoever it is, whether you be black, brown, Hispanic, white, Asian, Middle Eastern, the citizens who are entitled to vote, if you choose to stay home and not vote, please don't say nothing. Please don't argue. Please don't be upset. You sat at home. You chose not to do your one civic duty. We keep thinking our civic duty is to show up to court when we get summoned to go up, to, uh, not summoned, but when we get court, uh, uh, jury duty. We think that's our civic duty. That's not our civic duty. Our civic duty is to vote is to vote for what we want. And if you choose to go down that path where you want someone like Trump, by all means, go on, do your thing. If you choose to go down that path and have someone like Joe Biden, by all means, go ahead and do your thing. If you want a third party candidate in there, by all means, go ahead and do your thing. But remember, there's going to be consequences for those actions. We hold enough to know that. For every reaction, there is a action, there's an equal. So you can go ahead and keep thinking these horrible thoughts about black folks, about Hispanic folks, about the border, about individuals coming in and out of this country. We are a country of immigrants. We were born that way. Those of you who can look right behind me, that's the Hudson River. And if I go that way down the Hudson River, guess what I'm going to come to? I'm going to come to the Statue of Liberty. Yes, I am, because I live in New York where the Statue of Liberty is. I'm going to come to that Statue of Liberty, and that Statue of Liberty does mean some things to those of us who might have come from that Atlantic Ocean coming into the country thinking, well, hey, I made it. Well, did you really make it? Because today it seems like we didn't make too much progress. We're regressing instead of progressing. And we have to decide, what do we want? Who are we? Decide. I'm going to leave it right there, folks. Thank you so much for giving me about 19 minutes of your day. I hope this resonates with some of you, but you're going to have to decide. You're going to have to decide. As I said, I'm going to be doing this every single Saturday, talking to you from my heart. might not seem to always come out in the manner in which I would like it to come out, but this is from my down deepest feelings about what we're going to have to do for this country because we're either going to have one 
or we're not. We're either going to be governed or we're going to be ruled. And I choose being governed over being ruled any day. But thank you very much. Happy New Year to all of you. And I will be talking to you soon. Be safe, America. That's a podcast if you don't mind me asking, correct? Yes. Yeah. I do a podcast and I record my broadcast oh, okay. to um, you know, to really go out there in the world because it's 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 oh, yeah. you know, I'm 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 I'm, I'm not afraid because I'm right. too old to be afraid. Right. I'm very concerned. Correct. We are. I agree with you. I'm sixty four, so I agree with you. Very but you oh no, that, yeah. I'm 57. I love the beard. Yes, yes. I love the beard. It gives that they wisdom. Think I'm a baby. Like, yes. Oh, you don't look 64. I said, I know I don't. I hope, I hope I stay that way. You know? All the time. Correct. All That's the time. Right. But I get carded. I'm like, you don't see this wisdom right here? Correct. Correct. I love it. I love I love being able to tell them, yes, to card me all day long. Correct. Card me all day long. Long. I Absolutely. have zero problem, but I, I am very you much. You said, though, yeah, this country is going down. We're leading in a direction. Correct. And we going to suffer more. Black people, I hate to say, are going to suffer more than any other. Because now we behind the Hispanics. I We've been behind. That. We behind it. We way behind them. Every other, you know. And there's no reason for us to be behind. Correct. We are That's the top say. dollar spenders in this country. Correct. And I don't Correct. understand why we haven't realized that we need to put the brakes on Correct. allowing individuals to take advantage of us just because we give Correct. them our our our, our, our vote. Right. Correct. I think they again. It says it right there. What does right. it say? Yep. They yeah. both suck. I agree with you. They I, both I, suck. I don't think Biden is doing nothing. Trump, but yeah, Trump. Forget I'm that. not going to hold Biden to you know, right. a higher standard than I didn't hold other presidents to. Yeah, I agree with that. I, I, I have to give him his just due. The Correct. man walked into a a, a firestorm. He Correct. walked into something that had never been presented by any other president because right. we never had a president like that. So it's, it definitely is unprecedented. Correct. But we keep using that unprecedented word as if it's unfamiliar correct we yeah. have had many firsts right. why is this the very yeah. first first correct that's what i'm saying even, I'm the, even when obama became okay he was the first afro-american president which i thought my lifetime would never see a black man become speak on black it. woman become president i'd be that's honest right. about that i mm -hmm. never thought it was possible but the country wanted it right the correct. country and i just said correct. leadership didn't want it we had oh, individuals right. across many spectrums talking about, oh, can't believe, can't believe. Right. And even those who look like us, Jesse Jackson, got oh, caught wow. up in, oh, a, in wow. an off mic, uh, an on mic type yeah. of situation. Okay. Talking about, oh, I can't believe, can't believe. Oh, yeah, come on. Yeah, you know. Really? What, what, what is it that you can't believe? Right, correct. You should be of all people supporting correct. because well, you, you, with your coalitions, correct. always were talking about how we need to improve the situation for right. black. So we get a black president, and just because he's not. 110 percent behind your coalition oh, correct oh now he's one of those oh yeah i figured that yeah that's the way he did it. that's kind of like you know very uh, yeah. uh, 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 uh i'm not gonna say a comic figure but he's correct. very much a controversial individual correct. i saw correct. him in the airport one day okay and and it was so funny because i saw him twice oh, the first wow. time i saw him he was taking photos with some asian people he was okay. really very cordial and in and, and, and the second time i saw him he was on the jetway going down not the jetway he was on the um escalator oh, so okay. i rushed around to try to get him and i was like oh could you could i get a quick photo with you right. oh i don't have time i don't have time oh, see what i mean but now you have time for you know that you don't have time for you know for your own kind time. that's what I. you don't have time for your own, own kind, kind but, but you, you have, have time, time for yeah. others yeah. That's what I don't like about it. I'm himself. looking at him like, okay, and, and yeah. never had the same respect for him after that point. I don't blame you. I wouldn't either. Like, one time I met, and it's still a different scenario. I met Walt Frazier. But I was like six years old going to my mom and dad would take me to an exhibition game. They played basketball exhibition at the Westchester County Center of White Plains. So I see Frazier, who was my idol. So I come out, I'm six years old, went over to him with a lady, went over to him, asked him for his autograph. He, he wouldn't sign it. The lady even asked him who he was with. What you can sign it. He still wouldn't sign. Mm -hmm. So you're six years old. I'm a kid. You're a child. And I'm like, ever really? This is my idol. Man, you know, it's the guy I look up to. And I like, you know, worship Paul Frazier as a ball player. And even though I didn't know, you know, that I got the, he eventually got it, but. He's a little, you know, he's full of himself. You know, a lot of them are. He's full of himself. You know, which I can understand. Most of 
to a degree. To a degree. Most of those guys are pulling themselves. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I still believe that they were placed in these roles to show right. us that we can achieve. Correct. Like you said, they got into these positions and Correct. a lot of them got influenced by either the money or the power yeah, and the prestige that, that, that came with it. And they leaned more towards Correct. those who were again holding us down, down. and you were supposed to be kind of like that that beacon that allowed right. us to realize that we can still Correct. emerge and come up Correct. in the right manners but Absolutely. when you dismiss us right kind of like oh wow that's, I mean. that's kind of hard and you got black people now all memory black people with good jobs i know and they get too big up here they got the title they're making the money there it is where they come from there it is yep they, they are, the I, rappers I ride, and I, I have nothing against anyone getting right. their bread i tell my Correct. students this all the time yes get that bread Correct. make that money do what you got to do but don't forget where you've come, come from. from come yeah, back absolutely. home and make sure that your people are still doing okay Correct. don't leave don't go somewhere else i have a huge problem with a lot of them because they get this could get this status millionaire correct. billionaire correct and then what are you really doing with that mu right. that millions and billions right even over hey, even though she opened the school for the girls in but where where i get it right. africa they got more resources in the right. whole wide world correct That's more right. resources they got more corruption also equally correct. so going down there putting right. these kids in correct. i guess what, what what is it yeah it might right ease your soul right but is chicago still doing well right no. right you made the bulk of your money and are you still doing well right are these right. country or are, are, are the citizens and all of the, the people who followed you throughout your career are they Ooh. still doing well right. I, I came to find out that when she was giving out them cars you get a car you get a car right. you get a car right. the taxes that came with that gift the people think. had to pay that not you that's what i think that's what i said all along she's giving them trips and applause but who's paying the taxes? There on? it is. Not over. Nope. I'm going to pay. She gave me a car. I got to pay the taxes. I say I can't afford to pay. Now I'm you don't get that car. I don't get that car. That's it. I figured it. Yep. That's it's a I, lot of things yeah, that I look at these on. individuals yeah. and I'm like, wow, you All guys right. should be doing way more. But it should be again, not charity. It's not about charitable. Correct. It's a, a, a for you. It's a nice right. gesture because guess what? You get that tax write off. Right off. That's what I but you're setting other individuals up for failure. Correct. For all, all of them. I say Jay Z. All of them. You take Magic. I don't know. Oh, you take all of them. I know LeBron. You got all of them. They Michael. You know, Jordan, Michael then did some horrible things, in my opinion. You, right. you, you, you're, you're three hundred dollars. You got all these kids buying right. into the Michael uh, uh, Jordan brand, Correct. but you're producing your stuff in sweatshops. Right. You're producing your stuff here now in the United States in prisons, where they're paying wow. these individuals two dollars and twenty five cents an hour. Wow, wow. Mm -hmm. Because prisons now are a business. Right. Correct. That's what I figured. Yeah. And I'm looking at this like, whoa, okay, now hold on now. Really? Right. That's what we well, that's right. why we made you so popular. Correct. That's why we gave you all of our bread over the years. That's why I have no allegiance to any sports team whatsoever. I don't blame None. You. I don't None. Blame I used to love it. I used to be into my sports. I was into my basketball, I was into my football, I was into my teams and names. Not anymore. That. Because no, it's all about that moolah. You can see that one Asian dude who got like seven hundred fifty million dollars, the correct. highest contract ever over ten they years. Like something. Something. That was in Japan. <laughs> they don't know what he can do here. He might be a bus. Coming out, they gave him all this money, and he might be a bus. I think he, he could be a bus. Me, I'm not. Saying if he I'm turns out to be the best player right. in the whole wide world, great, good for him. Correct. But still, it's about uh, money. That's what it's it not is. about the athleticism, and I'm not taking nothing away from right. their athleticism. Correct. I'm just very concerned at the message that you're sending to these right. youth who don't have a clue. Correct. They just yeah. think I talked. I was listening to a kid yesterday. Oh, oh. when I get in the NBA, right? See what I mean? They think they when you get in the NBA, how you know you're gonna make it? You know how many? That's what they don't realize. You go to college to play basketball, mate. Right? But you better get an education. You sure you better. You better go get. You better have a plan A, a B, B, C, D, correct. E, F, G, almost all the way correct. down to the end of the alphabet. Because correct. guess what? If that one doesn't work out, you better have a fallback. Right. If that doesn't work out, you better have another fallback. If correct. that doesn't work out, you better have another fallback. Because we've right. watched from generation to generation to mm -hmm. generation to generation, individuals believing and thinking that they were going to be able to ride the coattails of the generation that came before them. Correct. Did we already had our experience with Black Wall Street? Right. Correct. They tore that down. Correct. 
point down to the ground, 19, 21 blocks, if I'm not mistaken, something under that right, uh, uh, right. that uh, understanding, mm -hmm. where they said, oh, no, we can't have black folks do it better than white folks. Oh, yeah, correct. And this is, Wall right. Black Wall Street wasn't the first. Right, I agree. There was many of them throughout. Mm -hmm. Correct. All because we wanted to. And when, when this nation should have unified, should have given back those individuals, but you know what they did? They built an interstate highway right over all that property. Wow, wow. Thinking to myself, wow, this isn't a nation that had us included into the fabric of this Correct. nation. Correct. We were excluded, and we are still today even more, more excluded. excluded. That's what I said. It's worse now. It's worse now. People think that things are better because we had Obama became the first president, and we and that set us back. We, think we arrived. And yes. We feel now. That you set know, us back. Nothing know, against black men is okay. But Atlanta has one. But are they doing the right thing by right. those people? Who's Correct. really pulling those strings yeah, of those black mayors? That's what I think. Yeah. You know, who you are, you might right. be a black again, Mayor Adams in right. here in New York. Correct. I'm looking at him now, like, dude, really? Right. You're saying some real off the wall stuff, bro. Oh, yeah, yeah. Really That's off the wall saying. stuff. Correct. We are a nation of okay. immigrants. Right. So Correct. what? You know, New York has oodles of money. Yeah. Correct. You could have a building or two or three. Hey, I'm sorry, we're going to not confiscate, but we need right. you to do what we need you to do. Right. We're going to eventually get over this hump, but stop mm -hmm. crying as if we right. can't do what we need to do. Correct. Period. Texas as well. Yeah. Stop Correct. crying. Right. Acting yeah. like, oh my God, we don't need. Well, who? Uh, yeah, and I get it. Mexico should stop them from coming through right. Guatemala. Correct. They should stop them from, but they're not doing that either. They right. might be laying in, 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 on the side with right. whomever is saying, Correct. well, let them come up, let them come up. Correct. That's a long journey now to be making here. to get now to the front come, door. Yeah, they letting all these migrants in here. They get more, they get taken care of more than I would. The reason why that is, yeah. is because of how politics is. Okay. Those migrants, the, the, the politics has allowed for that to be voted. So they give mm -hmm. them certain amount of resources. If we don't want that, then we have to make sure our politicians don't vote that way to put all the resources towards that. Okay. But okay. again, think about how we got here. Not we right. as African-Americans right. who were brought here through slavery, but I'm right. talking about those who, again, the pilgrims, the, 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 the others who came in on right. the Mayflower and all these other Right. Processes Correct. that built this country. Correct. Right. We got to really go back and rethink mm -hmm. how we even got established. Correct. We might not yeah. like it in the manner in which it's going, but we're going to find ourselves in a completely different setting if we keep going down this pathway. Correct. It's not going to work. And we're going to, there's going to be a lot of us, millions of us now today that are going to be worse off if we continue to keep going down this divide. America versus Correct. unite America. Correct. But you have, I feel like it, it's no such thing as middle class no more. The middle you class know. is ever eroding. Correct. You're either wealthy or you're poor. It's just that's in the poor category. There it is. Yeah, yeah. I'm not wealthy. So they well, got categories you know. now that is called the working poor. Right. They Correct. got a category that I Correct. hate to even have to utter out of my mouth called right. the full time working homeless. Correct. I mean, you got people who work full time jobs and don't wow. even have a residence. They're leaving. They're either living with relatives, or they're right. living in their cars, or they're doing some of the most egregious things, living at at at, at shelters. Shelter. But these are individuals who have full time right. employment. I met a lady well, months ago, so we were in Dollar Tree in Young, because I live in Young on South Broadway. So I know the lady. She was going. Uh, I think she told me then Mary Kay and other stuff she does. Now she told me she was. So we went over to the laundry man. I'm saying, what you got? The laundry man. You going over to wash clothes or what? So she washed the coat. I just observed it. I went over there with her, washed the coat, and I did it because I, I was in Dollar Tree buying some stuff. So she washed the coat and all the next, next I said, I can be staying in the laundry mat. I read that, you know, I just put two and two together. Mm -hmm. was talk, I was talking to her and all that. And I actually tell me she's basically homeless. So the laundry mat was 20 24 7. So you could stay in there, wash the coat, stay in there. I guess she's I'll stay in the laundry mat. Yeah. This is uh, again That's in the right. richest country that, you know, in the world. I felt kind of bad. Of course. I, I said I can't, you know, I could I could invite her over the state. Nah, I can't. Right. We I, can't I be so generous it. a lot of the times. Exactly. I don't, I don't know it that way or like that. Because mm -hmm. anything can happen once they get inside your oh, four walls and you have to tell. 
I, when I moved into this building right over here, um, 45 okay. Main Street, okay. and so I, they told, told us that we have all the amenities available to us and so right. forth and so on. Because I'm again, my show uh, or what what I was yeah. doing at the beginning wasn't about the show yet, but it was more or less about the fact that I was able to draw in an audience. But right. I don't want them in my apartment. Oh no, there's definitely. no cameras in my apartment. I don't right. want to have to put up cameras in my apartment right. just so to right. record uh, what's going. No, no I, I don't want to do that either. Put so cameras was, and watch you. I gotta watch you if I sleep. Go to the bathroom, man. I get up and you rip me off. Exactly, you know, exactly. We want to be, we want to do the godly thing, but correct. that spirit tells us all the time that we got to be very careful. Right, well, yeah, the world is got to be now, careful. Exactly. Got to swat the rights. They have rights after thirty days, and I would have to go to court in front of the judge and try to get it out. And I got to put myself, subject myself. Exactly, to exactly. Yep. Yeah, so and it's no, it, it is it's yeah. it's gotten to the point where I tell everybody we got to be more strategic. We got to decide what do we want. We have to really stop thinking about the personality, Correct. start thinking about the politics behind the personality. Correct. Are you fighting for all? Or are you fighting for a select few? Right. Because too many of them right now, I believe they're fighting for just a select few. Me too. And we I need agree. more politicians who don't mind calling Correct. someone out saying, "I'm sorry, you're not my dear Correct. colleague. Right. You're not my good friend." Because good friends don't let good friends ruin Correct. all of the things that they're the initiative that they're trying to put forth for all Americans. Correct, just like Santos, where he got away, you know, they got him out. But how did he, how did he get there? How did he get there? How did he get in that position? That's the point. But <laughs> if that's the case, I could get it. Oh, how can I get in there? This man went cold. <laughs> Every you know, lie under the sun, and, they, and nobody like, decided to go back right. and back check prior to putting his name on the ballot, prior Listen to me, anything. I can't understand it. I, in this day and age, in a way, but this is what they it. wanted. They wanted to have. They want right. to have these figures in there who are okay. just for that one side. And okay. Santos is uh, again whether he's a Trumper. I don't recall whether right. or not he leaned more right. towards the Trump uh, mm -hmm. uh, uh, agenda. But again, I'm sure Trump would have loved to have him in there. Oh, it's yeah. like he's sure. been telling everybody on that side, you're either voting for me or I'm putting not you in right. harm's way, but I'm putting your whole family in harm's way. Right, correct. That's right. not a leader. That's a dictator. Correct. Exactly. That's what that is. And we are right. we're, we're we're too close to yeah. having that yet mm -hmm. again. And if he gets back in there, and that's why mm -hmm. I keep saying, I don't care who you vote for. If that's what right. you want, go for it. Do your correct. Name. correct. Yes. That's what you want. If you want a Joe Manchin third party figure mm -hmm. who's going to steal votes from the possible, again, president mm -hmm. who is in there, at least in my opinion, he's doing as much as he can. But there's too many roadblocks. You got All a right. Congress that you can't even do nothing with. And if you go back to separations of power, we got a court. Right. We got legislators and we got executives. Correct. That executive party or that executive figure is attempting to do what he can, but you got two other factions that will not get out of their own way. Correct. The courts yeah. looks like a kangaroo court. Mm -hmm. I've never seen anything like this in my entire life. I, Nothing. In 57 right. years. I'm not the brightest person in the world, but God right. dang. That's what I'm talking about. I mean, thank you. Yes. I've never seen Congress act the way that it acts. Right, it's like Trump. How are you allowed to get away with the Capitol, what he did on the Capitol, beside the other stuff he's done, everything he's done? If, I, if Obama did that, just the case, it would be. I love that what about ism. Right. I love it. I think yeah, I it needs to be I played out happened, more and happened. more and more. Right. Because what if, I think uh, instead of uh, 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 Tyler Perry doing the Oval, which is the, mm -hmm. the most disruptive show that I've ever seen in my entire life. Right. He needs to do a bottle. What about if we, right. again, right. put white folks in chains? Correct. Let's have a roots, right. but as, as white folks, and then have let, let them right. really see. see right, correct. Nothing wrong with it. It's, it, it's, it's a form of art. It's a form of expression. Correct. Yeah. It's done in a manner in which, whoa, white folks would probably be like, dang, I didn't know it was that bad. But they would have people up in yeah. arms. You're banning books. Correct. We banned books. We've Correct. never banned books in this country. They banned about. books over in Europe. Correct. Wow. And, and you're like now slavery. talking about. You no, can't talk about. Oh, I don't mean the country. No, please. Like, like black history. They took that Afro American studies out of the schools. So they don't want this generation coming up today. To Being about, soft, I guess it right. is. They don't want Correct. white boys and girls or Correct. Asian boys and girls or whoever it might be targeting to feel Correct. any lesser than. It's not making you feel lesser than. It's right. proving you as an individual so that you Correct. don't repeat some of the horrors that Correct. we did to other people. I would never want to see a white person in chains, oh, but right. I think it would be a nice so. message as a TV show. Correct. I think it would be an awesome, maybe a movie. Correct, but they ain't gonna go for 
with that. Of course not. No, of course, that'd be the most controversial thing ever. Correct, correct. correct. But correct. yet you had, I think it was, I can't remember the name of the show, where this one, it was a it was a movie where this one, she was a black, um, I think she, I don't know if she was a, uh, a writer or something, but they snatched her up wow. and brought her into this, 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 uh, uh, um, it was like back in slavery. Oh, okay. Wow. And it was crazy. The movie itself was crazy. Crazy! I was like, "Oh my goodness!" But these were all individuals right. that they had kidnapped and stole wow. from their neighborhoods or from their wow. communities and brought them to wow. somewhere yeah. way back in the south, deep down. Right. And right. it was so—I mean, it was the most okay, alarming man. thing ever. And I'm like, "Wow, this wow. is crazy!" But it was something that made you really think. Imagine if this was something that Correct. was going on today. Correct. We do more. Also, we do more harm to each other too. That's another thing. Well, I don't know. Because we're too busy fighting for pennies. Correct. That's, That's our whole that's agenda. That's, that's, that's our whole agenda. agenda. I'd rather kill you for a nickel or a dime instead of helping yeah. you and I get a dollar. Correct. That's where we like. I look at Yonkers now. We had plenty of black businesses years ago, mm -hmm. like 64. So I remember the black. I was young, but I remember like my mom and dad told me, like bars, restaurants, moving companies. Now I look sure at did. Them on one hand. I can name them just about on one hand of black groups. There's only gr grapes. Yeah. In yeah, the in the in the, that's right. And we, yeah. we got the uh well that's not even true African. I mean right. a, a black American, yeah, but the African um uh, well the market, which is right. on Broadway. You got another one that's the, yeah, the, the food place, Jamaican, Jamaican kitchen. kitchen. Mm -hmm. And the other one going up Main Street on the corner, uh, around the corner from Stanley Pharmacy. Yeah, that's a Jamaican spot right there. And then you got off the hook. Off the hook, yeah, that's off. That's but it's there. not that very many. That's what I mean. And that's it, what, it. what has also disturbed me over the course and of the not really black barbershops. I mean, one up North Broadway, Parker Greg, the Parker guys. Yeah, that used to be too. I was a Parker. That's the only one I really. Right. Know. Yeah, I know the yeah. Parkers because yeah. these related to what? Not really. He married one of my. Oh, okay. He married my um. Mm -hmm. Well, one of the Parkers married my sister. Oh, okay. yeah. So they okay. moved to Delaware, but you're, I mean, so right. Okay. Our money used to reside in our community days. Correct. It used to reside in our community months. Correct. You know how long our money resides in our communities? Two to four hours. Oh, wow. Two to four hours. Wow. In the Asian community, I think it's like 21 days. In the, right. um, uh, there was another one. I can't remember it right off the topic, but again, it's Correct. sad to know that our money stays in our That's community two to Correct. four hours. Hours. Correct. Correct. So of yeah. course not everybody's going to have a bite at that apple. Of course, right. it's it, again. It's just gotten to the point now where we're fighting for pennies True. in the richest nation on the face of the planet. We have to get smarter. We have to get more right. savvier. We have to stop thinking that we are our own enemies. Correct. That's I can't right. look at you and go, "Oh, you're someone that I need to despise right. or I need to hate." Right. I That's need to be weird. looking at you like, "How do we help each other?" That's what I said. We don't help. We got that like. Because the way I people say, well, the way I dress, okay, I dress, I carry it. That don't mean I, I dress because that, that's me. That's the way I like to dress. Sure do. I, I, like to I like to look good when I go out the house. I like to look good. That don't mean I spend a lot of money. I'm not trying to impress. I'm anybody. the most frugal person right. in the whole wide world because I come from that culture. I come from right. that uh, that that business culture. Meaning, right. I know that again. There's going to be that top dollar price item. I'm not guy. I'm not buying that top right. dollar price you item because I know exactly how it became that top dollar right. price item because it went from a raw material that right. some company decided to put together and then threw it out on the shelf and said, okay. Let's see how many fools we can get. And I don't mean to call people fools, but right. yes, if you're going to buy it right at the top, go right ahead. Go get ahead. That. But I'm going to wait till it goes down to a Me couple too. of dollars. I might even wait till it hits 70% because I know that they done made their money Correct. off the top dollar. Like, when like they you drop it down to 10%. Yeah, cool, cool. For a thousand dollars, mm -hmm. 500 dollars. Look at, look at the markup value of that. There it is. Yeah. They That's produced it for $25, but you have to put a price tag on it for a thousand. I worked in that industry. I know the markup is wow. ridiculous. Correct. Is yeah. ridiculous. Sneakers, Jordans. How much it costs to make a pair of Jordans? But these kids go out or, and buy these Jordans. What about this guy right here? That's another thing. That's anything at the phone. Who's making the money? And, and who invented Phones it? were two hundred dollars. Two hundred, but yet you're getting right. fools who will put it on a freaking credit Correct. and be paying eight and ten yeah. times more. more. Correct. Yep, ruining their credit, ruining their opportunities because right. of the fact that they want to show off because they got an iPhone. iPhone. Correct. Yeah, that's what they do. Or I Samsung or Google day, or whatever it is. The phone. I seen this lady work at the banner one time. So I'm walking going up Warburg. 
So, so I see these guys, two black kids, you know, guys, you know, they look back at me. I looked at them. I could read them. They were up to something. So she's on her phone, on, not paying attention to her surroundings. Spent her phone like that, probably, I'll say seven, eight hundred dollars, mm -hmm. maybe more than that. So she's like, they grabbed, and I said, they, I knew I kept on going, but she looked back. They grabbed the phone right out of their hands and kept on. Uh, uh, these kids are grown. Yes. I'm not getting involved with that. Can't because these kids do it for what? That's Good right. Samaritan laws don't protect us like they used right. to protect right. us. Because yeah. the, the, one of the, I was in a, in a situation where a kid stole my whole book bag. Everything okay. that was important to me was in wow. that book bag. Stole the whole book bag. I'm in the supermarket where I was right. doing my job. Right. I'm in there boohooing like I was two years old. Oh, God man. said, boy, if you don't stop, he said, get your butt out that door and walk down that block right there. Right. I walked down the block, come behind the building. Guess what I saw walking down the other side of the block? The kid with my book bag. Oh, man. I was like, thank you, Jesus. Right. I chased him down like right. I was. I don't blame you. Grabbed him, right. caught him, right. walked across the street. We get clipped by a car. Oh, wow. Had to. I didn't get hit. He okay. got the, most of the hit, the, um, the, the, the the brunt of the oh, um, getting okay. clipped, but it was just a little, you know, oh, okay. hat. Brought him into the, um, it was a, a Wendy's. Right. Brought him into the Wendy's. We had to call the police. The guy drove away, so it was a hit and run. Right. The police get there with the ambulance and the fire department. Right. The police tells me that if I don't press charges, I'm going to be on the hook for his injuries. Oh, man. Oh, I was like, excuse what? me? What kind of law is that? You want to be at home for his injuries? Come on, I don't understand. The because I that. chased him down. So what wow. was I supposed to do? Right. Just right. let him run off with my stuff? Correct. And then call you to try to get right. my stuff back, which Correct. you are not going to do anyway. Oh, no, they're not going to do that. They don't care about that. You're not in a, you're not in the capacity of searching right. and doing or watching cameras. Yeah, it's a right. black on black crime. Right. So right. 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 none of my problem. Right. Correct. But you're telling me now Correct. that I have to press charges against oh, this 13-year-old who should have been in school. Correct. But if I don't press charges, I'm going to be on the hook for his injuries when he goes to the hospital. Oh, man. That's why I say this. Is, yeah, there's it's something it's wrong with the judicial Correct. process yeah, in this country that allows for something like that yeah. to even happen. Correct. No Correct. officer should have ever told an, a law-abiding citizen, citizen that you're going to be on the hook for someone else's injuries. Correct. Had the kid been in school, we would have never been at, at this particular place Correct. in our... And should make sure. Went through his home, make sure he's going to school. Now, get yeah. this. Yeah. Went to court, found yeah. out everything that I needed to find out. Kid right. was in foster care. They told me judgment for you. I think it came up to like thirty-two hundred dollars. You know how much okay. of that money I've seen thus far? Yeah, About eighteen dollars. Oh man! So the state wants me to run after this kid for the rest of his days to try right. to get my thirty-two hundred. Right. The kid's in foster care. Right. You're still paying this parent, the people who are watching this kid. You're still paying these individuals. Right. So why doesn't the state say, okay, you know what? Here right. you go, Mr. Glover. Here's your thirty-two hundred. Right. Go ahead and live your life, and we're going to be the ones to make sure that this kid pays the Correct. state back. Correct. Why are they making a citizen chase after this individual? Right. Correct. That don't make Again, kangaroo court types of situation That's doesn't make any sense. Yeah. I got to go run downstairs and check out my nephew really quick. I'm going to oh. play this for you, but don't disappear on me. Oh, okay. Sure. All right. Yeah, so, yeah. ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to play this, this message Biden to speech. Americans yeah. was blunt because this message that Biden is getting ready to put up there. I didn't watch it all. And I really want you guys to spend the next few minutes just checking this out while I disappear for just a hot second at stake in the coming presidential election. Okay, no democracy. problem, definitely, yeah. American democracy. That's what the 2024 election is all about. He promised- In this much hyped speech, effectively kicking off his reelection campaign this year, Biden forcefully took on his presumed Republican challenger. The choice is clear. Donald Trump's campaign is about him, not America, not you. He's willing to sacrifice our democracy, put himself in power. He calls those who oppose him vermin. He talks about the blood of America as being poisoned. That going the same exact language used in Nazi Germany. Throughout the speech, Biden referenced the January 6th riots three years ago. As Trump pushed to overturn the 2020 election results, then did nothing to stop this it was among the worst derelictions of duty by a president in American history. But Biden is struggling in the polls and Trump knows it. This guy Biden is the worst we've ever had. The worst. 
using Biden's own narrative against Biden. Welcomed by countless supporters. Joe Biden is a threat to democracy. He's a threat. In turn, Biden's also already leaning on an old friend in a new fundraising ad. Our democracy depends on you. It really does, folks. That's no joke. Will it resonate? We need you. Biden's inherent message to voters is, in a sense, an even bigger question. We all know who Donald Trump is. The question we have to answer is, who are we? That's what's at stake. Who are we? Will that resonate? Will that draw enough voters to Joe Biden? The straight up suggestion yeah. from Biden is that it has to. Paul Hunter, CBC News, Washington.
All righty, I'm back, folks. What did you think? Hopefully, you enjoyed it because I believe that this man put on a he he put on a a, a master class. Oh yeah, he did. Yeah, he put on a master class, making yeah. sure that we all understood who are we, who are we, what do we want? Correct. Because if we want the, the 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 what what the other guy was is offering, then go for it, America. I'm not here to tell you not to do whatever it is that your good conscience is telling you not to do. But I believe if you listen to what this man said, I'm sure he's probably telling us that's not the route that we want to go. You might not believe it. You might not think it. You might be thinking something else. Oh, he doesn't have my best interest in hand. You keep believing that. You keep thinking that. But I'm not here. That's not my job. My job is not here to tell you who to vote for. My job is to make sure that you do what you think you need to do for you. Not for me. Do it for you. Do it for yours. If you believe that following somebody who's already told you that they're going to be a dictator for one day. Okay. All right. All right. All right. You're right about that. Okay. He's going to have back in slave, slavery, I think. Yeah, we're going better. Well, we might be there now already, but he's going to We are not. We have yet, in my opinion, to have been governed. Correct. We have been ruled for too long. Correct. When you have elected officials, when we go down to Congress, and I watch a lot of the C-SPAN, oh, okay. I watch a lot of these these, these back and forth between mm -hmm. uh, uh, business leaders in Congress, okay. and them business leaders be getting it, which yeah. they rightfully should, Correct. because a lot of these business leaders are putting products out there into the world that Correct. are really creating more harm because it's about cost analysis. Correct. So if we can kill more people Correct. and the lawsuits are cheaper, and we can still exist and operate, then why not go that route? Correct. Because we can write that stuff off anyway. You've given businesses and, and, and individuals who have too much, you've given them too much power. Correct. So anytime you give someone too much power and then yeah. you bring down the Congress and you only slap them on the wrist with a fine or a fee, Correct. you're emboldening them to go out and commit more egregious acts. Correct. Yeah. That's what you're doing. And this is how we've yeah. been more or less ruling the citizens. We haven't okay. been governing the citizens Correct. because government is supposed to protect its citizens. Correct. You don't let people do something over and over and over and over and Correct. over and over and over Correct. and over. How are you protecting us? Correct. It takes you umpteen years to put up a traffic light because you got to study it. Correct. But you don't had nine million accidents at that corner. Right. Correct. So what, the 10th million that's going to finally right. make you think, oh, maybe we should put a traffic light Main here? Thing was the Tapas Bridge before they <laughs> fixed it. The new bridge. How long did they kept on talking about it? How long it took them to build the new bridge? I'm saying, how long did that same And thing the cost happen? of that bridge was how much more than what they had projected it was going to be? I'm talking about it. Stuff like now the subways are bad shit. They need they out thousands of years old but just imagine had they right. put that money into the infrastructures when they had the money, the money correct when they had the time frame to do it why were they waiting and waiting and that's waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting right. and waiting and waiting right. and waiting right. and waiting right. Right. that's all we do we kick that's the can down do. the, down the, that where they kick the can down the street or down the road or however right. that saying goes correct. but that's what they always do because it's not impacting them correct. just like i tell the teachers that are in my schools Mm -hmm. You don't have to see these kids when you leave here because you're too busy trying to jump into your Escalade or your your right. your, your your Tesla right. and your whatever it is to right. escape the neighborhood right. because you get to go to your prominent little neighborhood up north or Scarsdale right. or Hartsdale or wherever right. it is. You get to run from these kids. Right. You don't get to see them like I do because I walk. Long Island, East Chester. Texas, I walk right. up and down North and South Broadway to go to back and forth to school. I don't wow. need to be in a vehicle. Wow. And the kids look at me, well, if you're so rich and so this, yeah, I'm rich with knowledge, I'm rich right. with experience, I'm rich with education, I'm right. rich in a variety of different ways, but my pocket shouldn't tell you how rich I am. Correct. That's what people don't realize. They money, that's what they don't realize. You could be rich in a lot of different ways. You know, knowledge. Yeah. Knowledge. What right. you need more of. You keep thinking that Vince yeah. is going to give it to you. Correct. And that's not going to give it to you because as quickly as you get this, Correct. you're going to lose it as well because Correct. you have no money management. You have no skill sets. Correct. So you think, it's, oh, if I get more, I'm going to be able to do more. No, you're not. Right. Correct. No, you're not. Correct. You're going to give it away. You're going to do not give it away, but you're going to spend it on things that you believe is going Correct. to get you the status that you want when you should be thinking about, you know what? Right. That should buy me a home. Correct. 
yeah. something that I can own for myself Correct. that I can pass down to somebody because yeah. that money you can't pass it down to nobody oh, no, because you won't even have a will or a testament or no Correct. type of safety protections to make sure that that money gets passed on to the next generation. Correct. That Those works. things that we should be doing because white folks are doing it. Oh yeah, they Hispanic got, folks correct, are doing it. Correct. Asians are doing it. Correct. Middle Easterns are doing it. You know, but yeah. we haven't figured that out yet. Why? What's the problem? Right. Correct. That's what we don't. Because do. we don't love our people that much. Is that right. what? It, that, yeah, is that the, the message? Cause, like you take all the ball players. Okay, the white staff. I hate to say it, the Caucasian athletes, like Tom Brady. Okay, he probably got millions of investors. Mm -hmm. They retired. But how many of the I'm not saying now they probably do. They make it right. a mandate now, but right. they do. They yeah. should have made it a mandate back in the 70s. Should have Correct. made it a mandate back in the right. 80s. Should have made it a mandate back in the 90s. You That's waited right. until Correct. so many of our athletes were piss poor broke Correct. before you decided to say, "Hey, wait a right. minute." Maybe we should make sure that you're not even a high school graduate and you're Correct. still joining the NBA. No, 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 no. no. You got to at least get a, 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 an associate. Correct. It was like Dexter Manley. I remember him playing with the Washington Redskins. Mm -hmm. Great ball player. I forgot what college he went to. Functionally illiterate at the time. He couldn't read, <laughs> couldn't read or write. He couldn't even uh, understand a contract. No matter. He can They don't know what the contract. So, mm -hmm. You know, I mean, you got people to do, but you know, he got ripped off. Of course, they ripped them off. Of Just course, like a lot of our great singers back in the day, they stole all, they all them their off. resources, the everything. They yep, them off. ripped them yeah. off. Ripped, ripped them off. off. Yeah. When we should have been instilling those principles Correct. back then, so we wouldn't be in these circumstances that we currently find ourselves in Correct. now. With, as I said to all my students, if your great, great, great didn't mm -hmm. pass anything down to your parents who should have right. been passing it down to you, you right. will not have the ability to because this country has now made sure that you right. will not be able to. Correct. So it's our job now, those of us who are smarter, those of us who right. are savvy, those of us who are wise, those of us who have caught on. Correct. To now stand up and say, "Uh, uh this is not the way this is going to continue. Correct. You don't like it? Too bad for you. Right. But I'm going to make sure that my people have moving forward. Correct. Because there's too much wealth out there. There's too much of everything out there for us to be fighting That's over what pennies. I, That's what I say. Over pennies. Correct. Not doing that anymore. Right. Taking up arms, not the arms that they keep talking about. Oh, and I want to get violent. Right. Folks, Correct. go back to the literate literacy part of it. Did I say anything about taking up guns? Right. I said taking up right. arms, wrapping my brothers in yeah. arms. Correct. Loving on them like they I'm supposed to. Correct. And and my when I say my brother, I'm talking about a godly brother. Right. White folks, black folks, Hispanic folks, Mexican yeah. folks, Indian Correct. folks, it doesn't matter. Correct. We're all brothers in the eyes of the creator. Correct. We are. And that's one thing we don't realize. Thank you. you. Know, we hate on them because they got all the like I look at younger, look at between Getty Square and South Pearl, mm -hmm. who has all the businesses. They do Spanish. But they came from right. those understandings. They got Correct. those loans because the right. banks were more favorable towards giving them their loans because they kept looking at us like we don't know because right. we didn't know. And okay. those of us who did know, we didn't even try to help ours. I mean. One of my teacher friends was telling me, and I was really, I was like, wow, this, that wow. makes a valid point. He said when he was going to school, his Italian friends and his mm -hmm. Irish friends, their mm -hmm. parents wasn't kicking them out the house. Wow. Some parents were telling the kids to stay. Right. But when you do finally get out, don't go and rent somebody else's apartment. We're right. going to make sure that right. you have a home of your own so to move know, into. That's, what, that's the difference right there. We were telling our kids, oh, you got to get out of my house. You got to get out when you turn 18. You got to go. You, you, you ain't doing that. You ain't doing that. But you haven't taught them how to do because they don't even, if they, it, it, again, right. if they understood that you have to respect your parents, you wouldn't have kids today cursing their parents out. Correct. And baby. I and wish and my that's the generation of babies having babies. I just look at it. Babies having babies. So you're too close in age that there's no respect, but it doesn't matter. If that's your child. Your child should respect you. Correct. Correct. But you equally as a parent have to show and teach that child how to respect. But if you're Correct. telling the husband or the boyfriend or the whoever in the household, Correct. F you and B right. you and this and that's so forth, what, what are you sending to that right. child? That's what they pick up on. Yeah. It starts in Correct. the household. That's what I try to tell them. And it's fostered on the outside by right. those who understand that, guess what? That doesn't happen in my household, so it's not going to happen in my place of business. It's not going to happen in these academic facilities. Correct. You but know. you give the kid the opportunity, and then you get the parents who come down to these academic facilities with their chest all pumped right. out, right. talking right. about, I can't believe, can't believe. Yes, I can. I right. can believe. I can right. believe your child act this way because you 
act this way. Correct. That's what they don't understand. Yep, you act that way. They act ghetto. I see it. Well, I see it out when I go in the stores. And sometimes I see it everywhere in the street. One time I saw this lady years ago. So I was buying them and getting state pants. So she's yelling at this kid when he had the men's store. You probably heard of it. Mm -hmm. So she's yelling at this guy. Bring me up. Bring me up. I ain't getting involved because I don't want to get cut. You're going to cut my behind out. So I'll keep my mouth. That's none of my business. And, and that's that's right. Tell, you know, I don't want to cut me out, then I ain't engaged in that. And, and then I'm going back and forth with a stranger who, right. again, I'm just looking at the well being of the overall, Correct. not just the parent or the child, because the child Correct. probably needed to be. Correct. Keep your little black and behind over here. Mm -hmm. like that. But I'm saying, the way they talk to you, talking to a child that way. My mother and father never talked to me like that. You know, I don't remember. But they taught us decency. That's and that's what we, decency and dignity about yourself. Correct. Because if that's you it. knew decency and dignity, you wouldn't be out there in the streets acting like you didn't right. have no sense. Correct. That's the, that's the big, that's the big one right there. Knowing good and well, I come from good stock. I might not have liked my parents right. in the manner in which right. they had to discipline me, but I'll tell you right now, right. it was that discipline that made me into the person that I am today. Correct. Taught me manners, respect. That's it. That. That's Even today, I, I grew correct. up in foster care. Mm -hmm. Knew that these parents didn't have the, the, the where for all to care for me in the manner in which it right. was supposed to. Mm -hmm. But I knew that if mm -hmm. I just watched and observed, right. realized that this is what I didn't want, correct. then once I got older, right. I knew and observed and I realized, hey, you know what? Mm -hmm. I'm not going to treat my children like that. I'm not going right. to, I might have to. Give them a little pat oh, on the yeah, back or a little yeah, hit on the hand to to you, discipline, but I'm not right. gonna beat, beat to beat to kill them like the folks, you know, Watts or whatever. Whip, what they call that thing? Whipping. Yeah, whip it. That's it. I got the belt on my behind. Sure my did, father. and it when didn't harm me. But mm -hmm. I survived. It. He didn't kill me. So if he wanted to kill me, I wouldn't be here. There obviously. it is. Yeah. There it is. But we let yeah. our kids get away with bloody murder, and then we turn around and we reward them for bad behavior. Yeah. I watch all these kids, like you said, with the Correct. Jordans and the the yeah. Beyonce, the, the Bellagi, and all and that, uh, more yeah. stuff than ever, and Correct. yet they still Computers are as bad as they can be. But Correct. yet we still constantly keep rewarding bad behavior. Take them to McDonald's. Uh, we gonna buy you pizza. Go here to this fast food. Yeah. Got to stop. Yeah. Got to stop. Correct. You have to teach our children to respect not just themselves, also to respect those who are behind. And if they can't, then you start taking those things away right. oh you're not, you're not getting you're not getting uh, my job as a parent is to feed you clothe you correct. and give you proper housing correct medical, that's it medical you go so if we go to kmart or the dollar store to get you clothing right, right. you right. still got clothing you got clothing if you right. got just the bed with nothing on that wall correct. No, you still got a place to lay that head that's you still got yeah, food correct. That's what I'm supposed to give you. All this extra stuff that you see your, your friends get. Right. Well, guess what? I'm because you don't it. understand how to respect our money, then guess what? You're going to have to learn the hard way. Correct. And then once you start understanding, once you start coming back with them good grades, once you start coming back with that discipline that we right. send you out of this house with, then I guess know. what? Then you'll start getting rewarded. Like properly a person <laughs> like you got there some it is. common sense there it yeah. is but we let decades decades and decades right. and decades go of just allowing our kids to rule the household we do because i see some of these kids man i said oh, that, man, would that would never work that would never work my would father never, never work. allow that with me if i talked to my mom that way he would have slept <laughs> My father would have looked at me like, well, you know, he would have Where in the him. world are you from? Who do you think you are? You lost your mind? You know, like that. One time I said, um, what did I say one time? He said, I said, uh, I don't know. What was it? I said, I'm smart. I think I said, I'm smart. I challenged him. Mm -hmm. He said, you don't want to do that. <laughs> he, said, he, got that look. he said, you don't want to go down that you road. Don't do you that. don't want to challenge me. My B. You don't want to challenge me like that. You know, you get your phone call. Mm -hmm. you know, like, oh, Thinking I, you know something at right. 16 and 15. Right. I tell Correct. these kids all the time in school, y'all yeah. don't know nothing, but I'm Correct. glad that you are at that level where you right. want to challenge. And that's perfectly fine. Right. But again, just because you have the ability to speak doesn't necessarily mean that you know what's all coming out of that pie hole. Correct. You're right. Correct. Right. You can't even put them words into a clear understanding right. because you don't really possess the skill to understand that one of these lexicons have 180,000 words, but right. you still are so fixated on just 10 or 15 of those words. Correct. Right. 
Yeah, you got to educate yourself, folks. Stop thinking that just because you can speak means that you're saying something. Correct. And that's what I hear a lot of people say. They think they know everything. And then you get the people that went to college. Now, one oh time, my God, don't oh, get me started on man, that. With that, I know one guy one time I did security in Moisey College, mm -hmm. white, white guy, Caucasian. So he said, "I'm smarter than you." I said, "Look." Yeah, I guess he think because I'm going, he's going to college and mm -hmm. I'm doing security, mm -hmm. so that makes you smarter than me. I'm saying, wait, wait. A so I said, nah, let me don't get into this because he might go back to the dean. You know? <laughs> I come out of my mouth the wrong way right, and say right, we're right. in this place. Mm -hmm. so he'll go back to the dean and report me. And, 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 and I got right. to totally you got that explain situation. myself. Exactly. Correct, like that. So I said, let me don't even get into it. I had a, a, a mm -hmm. colleague at work do the exact same thing. Oh, you got your job to affirmative action. So I looked at, he's about six four, six right. five. I looked him. Right. Said, well, first and foremost, you don't know nothing about affirmative action. So right. let me go in this office right. and let All me right. grab our, our performance. So okay. I come out with his performance and my performance. I said, look at my performance. Right. All right. right. You're talking about 10, 12, 18 percent. Mm -hmm. Right. Averaging 10, right. 12, 18 percent. Look at your performance. Right. Two. Wow. Three. Oh, man. Sometimes lower than that. I said, really? sir, you don't know what you're talking about. It's not about uh, affirmative action. Right. It's Correct. about performance. Correct. I'm performing and you're right. not. Right. That's why I have my job. Right. Correct. Why do you have your job? Now, you might want to look at your skin color first. Correct. Foremost. That's what a lot. Of, that's what people don't realize. A lot of them get. That's where they get ahead. Mm -hmm. A lot of them. Ain't, okay, yeah. you go to college. College is a good thing. I'm not not. Not college. never. I, I didn't stay with it. I mm -hmm. wish I did. I tried it. I mean, it wasn't for me. I didn't stay with it. I'm not not to get an education. Get not at all. Grade. No, I can't knock anybody for that. But don't think you better than me because all you because to college, that's or it. I and some of these. Affluent schools right. have put out some of the most disturbing individuals. Correct. When you think about our politics now, the way that it is, you got mm -hmm. these individuals who went to Harvard and Yale Correct. and Princeton and right. all of these uh, uh, Ivy League schools yeah. that have turned Correct. out what type of individuals? Individuals who are now insurrectionists. Correct. That's Whoa, what, that's what I'm wait about. a minute now. Yeah, really? 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 That's right. what you want from your academic facilities? That right. they're turning out individuals yeah. who are going against the very principles of what this nation is all about? Correct. Oh, okay, yeah, that's the schools that we want to right. put our kids in. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely not. Correct. Columbia, all of them. Every yeah. single one of these yeah. Ivy League schools, Correct. you've got to kind of look at them now and go, yeah. wow. Wow. These wow. are the types of people who are leading the government now. These are the types of Correct. individuals who mm -hmm. now stand for the division of government versus the inclusion of government. Wow. That's wow. a problem. That That's a, a problem. huge problem because they're going against, again, like I said, the very mm -hmm. fibers of what created this democracy, Correct. the envy of the world. And you guys Correct. want to go to a autocracy type of situation right. like North Correct. Korea? Oh, yeah. oh, is that what you want? You want to right. live like North Korea? And I keep saying it over and over and over. What is Trump going to give you that the previous presidents have not given you? Right. What is he going to give you? Right. What? Same thing. The guy is a oh, grifter. Look. Correct. He's a carny. He's a figure who is right. all about and himself. And he's never worked in politics. He doesn't have a political background. Nothing. No political. He was a businessman. Well, a, and, well we gotta we gotta put a little yeah. asterisk around that. I, that took, I figured that. Took, <laughs> I think I don't even know how great a businessman. If was, you lived so. in New York, you know he was not a great businessman because right. everything right. is bellied up under Trump. Right. Everything, Correct. Trump steak, Trump water, Trump airline, Trump, he uh, wanted I mean. to be part of the NFL. They were like, no, right. any legitimate business golf person, got his golf courses and he got that's it. the only thing he was ever able to acquire was right. something in the retail space, meaning right. in that real, uh, real estate space. Okay. Because again, when you have the ability to have that bur that bread, right. but again, we're all finding out that that was a farce too, Correct. because you only got that bread because you were doing what? You was defrauding the banks. Right. We're right. getting loans that you were inflating your earnings, mm -hmm. but when it came to taxes, you were deflating, telling you, oh, well, I'm not. A... Right. So you were lying on both ends of the, on the, of the spectrum. Correct. But yet you portrayed yourself right. because they gave you that platform on The Apprentice, mm -hmm. and that put you to a whole new level. And then God knows as soon as that black guy got in there, oh, yeah. we couldn't stand for that because that's what I said, the industry. Correct. The citizens wanted Barack Obama. Not only did they want him once, they wanted him twice. twice. And that Correct. pissed Correct. off literally every industry. Correct. Because these were these industries are prim primarily what? White right. folks. White folks. So, so they were upset to high heaven. And he bailed out the banks. 
the car, the car, the poor, the car dealers, banks, and, cars, and houses. houses. And then he did all that. Bailed them all out. Oh, bailed them all off out. of whose dollar? Right. Well, by the, oh, and what did we get back in return? Oh, we got a pandemic. Correct. Other we got back that's in return. We got, we got a pandemic. pandemic. Correct. <laughs> Basically, and that's still going on. Now it's still going on, unfortunately. So we bailed them out. It's coming back. And then we yeah. turned around and put another person in there who cost us even more, more money. money. Correct. Yeah. So where are we getting? Where are we at? We know we're going back. Come on now, people. We gotta be smarter. We right. gotta be smarter. We right. don't want to go back down that road. Correct. And that's why democracy is so important today. It's so important if we do not right. figure it out right. we're going to find ourselves in a worse off condition right. we, we can't like keep we, thinking just because trump and this is what's so stupid about people and i hate to see, keep keep saying it right. but because trump they keep saying trump gave them a stimulus we got black uh, folks yeah. out there in the world who say I trump know, gave them a stimulus oh, right oh right. i want another stimmy right you got hispanics oh i want another stimmy saying, thump gave me a stimmy so they look at it, so no, he six hundred dollars twelve hundred but here's the thing yeah Nancy Pelosi gave you the stimulus check. Right, correct. Trump just signed the stimulus check. Correct. That's all it was. Right. Trump wanted it out there so bad. And this is why we don't understand politics. Because you understand money is spent or given through Congress. Correct. Not through the president. Right. The president doesn't give money doesn't out. Doesn't do anything. I, I know that. But he went right. out there and he, because, again, when you dumb down society, and this is right. what happened. They dumbed down society so much. Not yeah. just Blacks, not okay. just Hispanics, but they dumbed down white folks too. Okay. They pumped them up with opioids. Right, correct. You think about the Sackler family who made billions of dollars pumping drugs into, but illegal drug into mm -hmm. the white communities. Because guess wow. who got all dumbed down from it? Right. White folks. White folks. Yeah. White that's folks. What I mean, and that's another thing. They they think blacks control that market. They don't control that market. They don't bring the drugs into this country. Man. They only made us right. hate each other. Right. Right. Correct. They made the black More family, the black the woman, hate right. the black the man. Places of all that. It's called the Capricorn East Chester. This day, no man flew it. East Chester. Say East, say East Chester, Capricorn, Scars there. Mm -hmm. Just say that. There's mm -hmm. more drugs up there. There anyway. it is. Yep. People think, yeah. Why did the Kennedy go down? David Kennedy, the one with the hall. He's mm -hmm. going down hall for drugs. Why was he doing that? Because he didn't want, you know. But that's what, it, again, yeah. dumb down the white neighborhoods and blaming mm -hmm. on the, the black folks. Right, correct. Put guns and all the worst types of drugs into the black right, neighborhoods, yes, and then repeat the cycle again when you start putting it into the white. You correct. want citizens that are either one way inebriated or just retarded and stupid and dumb and correct. don't know nothing. And this is why we have what we have going on in this country because we have way too many individuals that didn't focus on not getting addicted to whatever the addiction right. was. Correct. You should have got addicted to yourself. You should have got addicted to the love and responsibilities that correct. you as a citizen correct. should want. And I was one of those kids who could have easily gone down that route because right. they gave my brother when we were in foster care. He was a hyper kid. Okay. Always running around crazy. So they put him on drugs. Wow, Some wow. drugs led up to more drugs. Wow. They tried to do the exact same thing to me for whatever reason. Thank you, Jesus, for whatever reason. Right. I used to spit them out. Swat. I never took them. Swat. Never took them. Never oh, swallowed great. not one. Wow. Even till today, I don't take that. I don't take synthetic medicines. If I got Swat. a headache, you know what a headache is? Right. A headache means that you don't have enough water. That's all liquid, liquid. Liquid. liquid because the blood vessels have closed up wow. and, the, and the water is going to do what? It's going to open up the blood vessels. It's going to wow. stop that throbbing right. from happening. Wow. And now the doctors, that's all doctors do. for prescribe for this so right out of prescription. Because everything you can. take has so, umpteenth side effects. I take, three, <laughs> I take a, a thyroid, right. so I got to take that every morning. Mm -hmm. Wait a half hour. I go. I wait an hour before I have my coffee or eating. Mm -hmm. He told me that my in the college told me wait a half hour, but I usually wait an hour. Mm -hmm. I let it go into my system. Then I take a uh, cholesterol medication, and I got an enlarged prostate, so I take perfect medication at night for that. Mm -hmm. But that's mm -hmm. my main free pills, really. Yeah, that's but there are some things with age that does Correct. come Correct. and and there's Correct. no way of getting around it. That's why Correct. you have to have a medical profession out there that can Correct. alleviate some of those discomforts. But Correct. I mean, for all of the things that they keep showing us on the TV and right. all of the the the, the, the multiple side effects, I'm kind right. of thinking to myself, well, damn, 
And, and if I got this one thing, but I'm going to have 20 other things because I take this minute, you know, well, I might as well just stay with the one thing. Right, correct. That's what I say to myself sometimes. It's described for, for headaches. I just try not to even, you know, unless it's really bad, I take Tylenol or maybe. Every day, if I got a toothache, I might be, yeah. you know, but yeah. I'm not, so, and right. I'm not right. one who's going to go to over the counter medicines for every right. Tom, Dick, and Harry type of situation that comes right. up. I mean, Correct. you got the day quell, you got the night quell. Well, oh, right. you might as well have a in the middle of the day quell as well. Right. You got Correct. all kinds of quells. You got the buckwheat, and you got this cough syrup, and that one, and this one, and that one, you know. And when is it ever going to stop? It's never because the pharmaceutical business is so. Correct. We got it, individuals who are addicted to that level of prescriptions, Correct. and it's yeah. terrible. So, what did they do with that? They made sure that they pumped that into yeah. one certain particular area. Then Correct. they went down into the black areas and said, "Okay, wait a minute. Well, we need to keep these individuals killing each other. So let's put yeah. guns. Let's That's put correct. drugs. Right. Let's put it's all like of the all things." Like, the, like um, the farmers, the doctors, the pharmaceutical insurance companies, so it's a billion dollar industry. All it together. That's it. But I tell people they all network together. And the Beyond. doctor, he writes out a prescription. He's getting a kickback from that. Every prescription he one writes my, to a patient. One of my jobs was working that. for Rite Aid. Correct. So yeah. I got yeah. firsthand uh, understanding of how these yeah. vendors used to come down to the pharmacies and talk to the pharmacist. Uh, the pharmacist well, and they used to yeah. always tell them, oh, yeah, get this medication, get this medication right. here. Here's a couple of samples and so forth and so on. And I'm right. thinking to myself, wow, this. but it never dawned on me that it was right. something that was malicious, right. that it was something that was being done to harm the public. I'm not here right. naive thinking that it was something that was right. good for the oh, public. Yeah, they make it seem that way. Yeah, they have a way of, you know, making it seem. Good, good. not believe. You should watch this. It's a Netflix series called Painkillers. Okay. But it's okay. Painkiller. Okay. I think it's called Painkiller. Okay. Yes. Oh my goodness! I can oh and most my people, I'm sick goodness! Home. Most seniors are on some sort of medicine. A lot of seniors. Mm -hmm. I know, like one my aunt's husband one time, he took so many pills he was on. I don't know, around the clock the other day, he got diabetes, got it real bad. He was around the clock, he was taking so much medication mm -hmm. and all that. I'm saying, how's that gonna work? <laughs> you take medication all around the clock. <laughs> all the side effects to that. How's that? One medication for this, one medication for that. But how's it going? Yeah, I don't understand. It, it never really added up. But right. I, I was so grateful mm -hmm. and so pleased to allow for myself to get educated. I mean, I, I went to right. school in Europe, and it okay. was a huge success wow. to go over into to a country where, again, I, I, I lucked out. Like I said, I grew up in foster care, okay. lucked out, joined the military. I wasn't a smart kid, so I passed that ASVAB test. Wow. Luckily, wow. got into the military, got that discipline that I needed to understand. Wow, okay, now I get this is how we're supposed to act with each other. Right. The military tears you down because it wants soldiers. Right. Okay. It doesn't want civilians. Right. Okay. I was a 76 Yankee quartermaster. Oh, so wow. I went into a field that was able to come out of the military and dive mm -hmm. right back into a, a career field that was going to lead me into. But again, the disillusion, right. the, the understanding that, oh, mm -hmm. wait a minute, this will hold you back. Correct. It well, will. They don't want you to be smart. They don't want you to be intelligent. Yeah, they don't correct. want you to know stuff because as soon as you do, then you got, uh, it's just sad right. to say, you got other blacks who are in higher levels as well. Okay. They're looking at you like, oh, now you come to take my job. My job. That's what it is. That's what I figured. Really? Wow. Right. You yeah. that intimidated yeah. by somebody who's right. smart, just like right. you, but you're correct. now thinking, I want your, your job. job. Right. I don't want your headache. Right. All right. I don't want your job. Say you the CEO of um, Chrysler. Okay. Mm -hmm. you say, why? I don't want that job. You know, I could take be the you know, be below you. I don't mind that. You know? I would love to work with would you, you but if like that's that. not going to work for you, then guess right. what? Correct. Deuces, peace. Correct. I'm out of here. Correct. I don't need your headache along with headache that I get from Correct. other areas as well of my life. I Correct. need to live a peaceful life. I need to live a peaceful existence. I need to let our people know that we can work together. But if Correct. you don't think we can work together, I am so good at bowing out gracefully Correct. because that man upstairs is going to make sure that I have what I need to have. Correct. If Correct. you don't see it, then yeah. that's your loss, yeah. not yeah. mine. Because I'm going to find another job. Correct. I'm that type of a person. I believe in the dignity of work, not mm -hmm. just working for someone. Right. That's the difference. Yeah, that's what we do. Huge get. difference. If Huge. Don't realize I that. don't mind working because work is not hard. You know what's hard? Dealing with people. Correct. <laughs> so when I found when we're doing security and sales, I found out like, I worked in stores. I mm -hmm. did corporations. I worked. But dealing with people, that's the hardest thing. That's, that's the hardest thing in the whole world. The work is not hard yeah. at all. We were put on this earth to be 
workers, laborers, and things right. of that nature. But we are also put on this earth to be not guinea pigs and, and okay. lap dogs. Right. Not doing boy, that. I remember at one point, so one time, you know, I, uh, Macy's, I did security, Macy's one plane, so I'm kind of out of the bathroom. So he's in front of his, I guess, superior bosses, and happens to be a couple of ladies, one white lady. So he tells me, go back to the door. But the way he said it, mm -hmm. like, go back to the door or something. You know, he just raised his voice. And I'm looking at him like, I should I handle this? <laughs> should I cuss him out? Because I know if I cuss him out, I'm going right, to be fine. Right, right. So let me see how should I handle it. Mm -hmm. Okay, I just took my took myself back to the door. Then he came around on the floor. I said, like, could I speak to you a minute? I didn't appreciate the way you talked to me back there. You know, I didn't appreciate that at all. He didn't apologize. Mm -hmm. He didn't let him know. You know, right, and of know, course, uh, yes, but I, I am a human being just like you are. You know, I've told you many of them, directly, oh, you know, right okay. in front of them. I right. told a couple of administrators as well. I don't know who you think you're talking to. Right. I'm not a kid, this man. doesn't mean nothing to me, but right. your respect means a lot more to me. So right. if you think that we can't condone ourselves in the manner right. in which we need to, then Correct. you might as well let me go right now. Correct. Because I'm right. not going to let anyone talk to me. I don't care who you are around. Right, they do. That's the way I believe. I don't think he's the president. Don't, don't make me a bit of difference. Right, but CEO of the company, I don't really, you know, you just see my performance. So manager, what? That's it. Correct. My performance will show you what I do for you. You don't Correct. do nothing for me. Correct. You don't do nothing for me. But the, every store that I've gone into worked for that performance. Because as soon as I left that, guess Correct. what happened? Ew. Correct. Crash and burn. That's what Crash and burn. Every single store. This is 19 different companies. That's why me and corporate America had to go our separate way. Okay. When I joined the academic community, mm -hmm. every single school. I'm one of the most sought after substitute teachers in Yonkers today. Oh, wow. wow. In Yonkers today. Why? Because I do the job. The job is to make sure that these kids are educated. Correct. It's not to go in there and Right. A, a curry favor for the the, the principals right. of the school or the vice right. principal of the school and, and, or be and, and best and friends with the teachers the or the administration no right. i could give two give two Correct. farts about you people right. Correct. i do love you as human beings mm -hmm. but, but as far as anything else absolutely not absolutely, absolutely. i am here for these kids because the recipients of our good behavior or bad behavior is mm -hmm. going to be these kids you know a couple of people are retired now keith fields he I've only been teaching for about eight years, so I don't probably Tracy, know. Uh, Tracy Creighton. It all depends principal. on what schools that they're school, in. She, I think she's a principal school nine now. Tracy, school oh, over there on, nine. um, yeah. uh, I know, right up from yeah. Gordon High School. Yeah. Yes, 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 yeah. they do. Yeah. Light skin, is she the light skin? Yes, yeah. yes, 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 when right. you are there, we're mm -hmm. there for these kids, Correct. nothing more. I'm not there for these teachers. Right. I'll listen to your sob story. I'll right. help you out whichever way I can. Right. But guess what? We're there for these kids. Correct. They need to be smart. They need to be educated. If we're going to have a problem with each other, then guess what? You don't need me or they don't need you. Right. One of the two. But Correct. we need to be on a unified front to make sure that these kids are getting what? They need Correct. because if we don't do it here, we're already seeing it. They're not getting it from home. Oh no, they're not. The kids today, and you know, they not. So I think it's the generation that the parents are like babies. Okay, mm -hmm. then the grandmothers, the mothers, or the grandmothers. When uh, I think are Chris, raising the kids, right? Chris Rock said it the yeah. best. When yeah. your kid is calling grandma, mom, ma, ma, and calling ma, your mom, mom Terry. That's, 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 that's the problem right there. That's the problem right there. He yeah. said you're gonna end and up in, in my old family too. He they, said you're gonna end up in jail when your kid right. is calling your grandmother Ma and calling Ma Terry by a first right. name. That kid gonna end up in jail. That's why I said to myself, well, like I was going to high school, you know, you got the girls and all that, but I'm not making no uh, I can hear my father now. My boy made a baby. He said, hey, you're, gonna take, you're gonna have to go get a job, you're gonna take care of that. I'm not big, I gotta know my father how he was. I'm not I mean, there's that's too many of us today. These kids like today, they, yeah. they, I come from the corporate America world okay. structure, and I know exactly what's going to happen when these kids leave high school. Right. They're going right. to go into an environment that they have no clue about. So they're going to get taken advantage of. Okay. We have a financial situation in this country that is not even even beginning to put them in a right. reasonable living area of where their finances are going to allow for them to have. No, right. you're because you're giving them minimum wage, requiring that they right. do the maximum. Correct. Yes, How does true. that work? Like you go to work at McDonald's. That's why you got people. 
I'll take you get for fifteen dollars an hour to start probably at McDonald's, Kentucky Fried, or well, what's the other one? White Castle, I think they Wendy's. There's 17. a whole variety of Jack in the Box. There's yeah. a whole Kentucky slew of Fried. these 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 fast food locations Correct. where the majority of our kids are going to find themselves. It's either fast food or it's retail. Correct. You're not going to get those office jobs. You're these right. kids who are thinking that they're going to get twenty five and thirty dollars go, go right. again. You got to go to college first right. to even right. begin to get that. Correct. And if you don't have that college based off of what the uh, American standards are, you won't even get that. So you're right. going to be suffering with the fact that you're going to be doing a minimum wage job. Correct. These minimum wage jobs are expendable. You're an expendable asset to these minimum wage jobs because Correct. they know they can just boot you out. And then yeah. when you have states that are at will states and Correct. kids don't even know what at will means, it means Correct. you're working at will. Correct. They can fire you I mean, just because you come in with a white shirt on. Correct. You're right. They can. Yeah. That's what at will means. They don't have to keep you because right. guess what? There's another, they got a drawer full of applications. Correct. They sure do. Don't yeah. need you. So you got to go in there and do the work. Correct. You go in there and do the work. Make yourself the value that you want, not the value that yeah, they, they want. want. Correct. Because they're going to use you to death. Oh, yeah, they are. They I them. found that out the hard way. Too, Always right? busting my butt, busting right. my butt, staying after, cost me my relationships, cost me my, my 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 financial understanding because I wasn't getting paid in the manner in which I should be getting paid. Right. So I let myself thinking that I'm going to do something for this company and this company is going to rise me up to the level that I believe that I should have been at. No, nope. right. mm -mm. uh -huh. I had to start my own business to become the CEO. Wow. Wow. Thinking I'm going to become the CEO of a Rite Aid, maybe. I'm right. thinking I'm going to become the CEO of, 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 of Universal. I'm thinking I'm all of the right. jobs that I can become the CEO of, of UPS. Right. All of these entities that I've worked for, I'm thinking that if I keep pushing right. and keep pushing doing, and I'm going to get to move up that corporate ladder. Yeah. Correct. Absolutely not. That's what Absolutely is. not. Correct. Didn't and pan out. That co I hate oh, people. yes. No. Caucasian guy. They're not even qualified. They don't even have the qualification. Well, because but that person that knows that person. Well, the Spanish guy, I think we got hired at the same time. Mm -hmm. So I'm thinking he's making about it. So he told me one day how much he was making. I'm saying he's making more than me. How is that? Mm -hmm. and my resume, I got just as much or more experience than him. So how's he getting paid more than me? He told me that the boss said. Oh, for I'm the not, longest time, you yeah. knew that was a taboo yeah, thing. Correct. You couldn't talk to individuals about correct. your pay. Correct. Definitely. If you did, that was a that was a a, a, a cause of of dismissal. Yeah, you were going to lose your job. Correct. Yeah. And that, yeah. thank God that that changed. But that only changed what five right. years ago, or maybe yeah, ten years ago. Yeah, correct. But throughout the course of forty some odd years, oh, you can't tell. Oh, don't say that yeah. because you you can lose your job. You're right, you'd be gone. And right. we were so addicted to our jobs that we feel that we can never get another job. Oh, I right. lose this job. Oh my God. Right. Oh my God. Correct. Never knew that. All you got to do is go in and do the work. Correct. And if you Especially have that my faith, grandparents, the mm -hmm. father's generation, I know they had a bunch with you know. My father's friend, and then he worked. He was like he always says he was down here when the uncles had the manufacturing company. He was the first black supervisor at Philip Start, so he's proud of that. That you know, which I don't blame him for the mm -hmm. black supervisor mm -hmm. because they probably didn't have. It. He became the first, like in the sixties and all like that. That's right. He's Eighty-five now, so I, I'm proud. Of that. I, that's history. He made you know. And you gotta you gotta yeah. look back at those days and say, do we want to repeat those days? So do Correct. we want to? better do we want better and You're the right. only way to want better is to make sure that again elected officials okay. have to make sure that our elected officials understand that you work for us we don't work for you right we have to make sure that the industry also understands we buy your crap correct you don't buy ours right. we buy yours correct so we got to make sure that equally that police firefighters and understand right. again correct. you protect us correct speaking to the police i mean i could tell you a story that happened to me years mm -hmm. ago about 40 years ago now i was coming from the elks they like the elders, you know you got the elks the coast the masons black mm -hmm. fraternity organization so i'm coming for so i'm walking it's about 40 so i'm walking up by ch mark come down north broadway the elks is town city lovers up on north Broadway. so i'm walking down come through the square go up by ch mark I'm walking up new main street so i the cup cop car comes down main street to what cup so they get they get out the guy fitting your description. We got a call, a guy fitting your description with a gun. So what is this about? And I had a couple of drinks in me, so I gotta use my head. Mm -hmm. I'm by myself. So I said, yes, sir, yes, officer. They made me get up against the wall, patted me down, X of my ID, took my ID out. Now they just kind of scammed me a little bit, mm -hmm. checking my rap sheet. See, I don't have no record, no felonies. 
now you can go. Man, they didn't put their hands on mm-hmm. this pat, but they did pat me down. And that was about it. So, you know, so they asked me where I'm going. I said, I'm going to McDonald's and I'm going home, you know. But if I gave me one false move and gave him some lift, like, you know, I knew you, you know. Oh, yeah. I oh, yeah. said, yes, sir. Yes, officer. Yes, sir. You know. And it's that understanding, too, that Correct. kind of really even today, I tell our kids Correct. today, don't get into the back and forth. Correct. You ask very mm-hmm. nicely, am I being detained? Correct. If I'm not being detained, I'm on my way. Right. May I leave? Right. Just that, again, Correct. we have to educate our youth not to be mm-hmm. so challenging. Correct. That's Don't the do the going back and forth for what course, reason? What course. is it going to What is it right. going to settle yeah. you with? What is how is it going to help you? It's not going to help. You're going to inconvenience your mom, your dad, your whoever it is that caregiver Correct. that's going to have to come down there. They might have the resources. They may not have the resources. Right. Correct. This is a business. Correct. And if you keep feeding into that business, yeah. guess what? You're only setting yourself up right. for more harm. Or right. hardship. I'm right. like you. I don't have no rap sheet. I wish right. somebody would try to stop right. me. Right. right. I wish somebody would. I had a police officer come to the house. My niece mm-hmm. was having some issues. Okay. And I had said mm-hmm. to the police officer, oh, well, we need to check. No, you don't. All right. Right. I said the responsible adult is here in the building. Right. Correct. Y'all don't need to check anything right. because the neighbor called and heard all the whatever the neighbor right. heard. You don't need there is nothing right. that what you need to do up in here. Right. Nothing. Because right. I'm here now and I can do what I need to do. Right. Correct. All right. But if you still want to question whomever you need to question, you can go ahead and talk to the mama. But when it comes to this child, there's right. nothing that you're going to be able to do for this child. Correct. Because now yeah. the responsible adult is here. Yeah, oh, he got people. all oh, huffy yeah, and puffy. Got, and they got great. He probably got all Oh, he was done. his colleague had to pull him back. Right. So I said, yes, is. you better take that dude. Same thing happened at my mom's house. So she was wow. having a medical situation. Okay. And wow. same officer. Uh-huh. I'm looking at him. He's looking at me. And I'm looking at him like, what? Right. Yeah, I'm like, correct. first yeah. of all, this is the medical situation. Right. Just because this is slow bomb, you're only here because right. you guys are thinking it's more than what right. it is. Correct. So this is the reason why you're here. Right. You're not here yeah. for a medical concern. Correct. So I said, right. you and your colleagues can exit the, the, the oh, we don't have to do nothing. But you rather go back and forth with me. So my mom said, Ty, just leave it. Yeah. I said, thank you. I'm, I'm, I'm going to be respectful for my mother, but y'all right. don't need to be here. Right. Correct. That's what I would You don't even to. need to be here. Correct. There's nothing done. going on but a medical situation. So situation. No, I had the Didn't same need police thing. officer. When something happened to my mom, like it was like a magazine mouse in the tub. Mm-hmm. So she got startled. She moved me, got up to go to the bathroom. I was watching TV because I was little. So she, you know how the mouse got out right. of the I guess she climbed up through the thing. We got the tub, so she put the water on, I guess, to get him out. Plus, he's gonna come out with the water, but and she came out of the bathroom and she fell backwards. I guess she tripped or got startled. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. It felt so. I didn't, she didn't. I go to help her up, and I see her head is bleeding. I said, Oh no, I got to now, I gotta get a towel, I gotta go get on the phone and call 911, mm-hmm. get a towel so the police come. So they kind of looking at me like. <laughs> oh no, I mean I gotta deal with this, this now with them. They thinking I right my mom, exactly, my exactly. I know where their head was going. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna them like, you know, no. they they not start questioning me on this. I'm saying because I ain't gonna appreciate this. You know? Oh, of course not. You know, I don't want to be put in the situations where I have to Correct. defend the indefensible when there's Correct. no reason. So I'm going to tell you right on the jump. Right. Correct. We don't need you. Right. We Correct. don't need you because this is not about that. But I'm Correct. glad that you guys have thought right. that you need it to show yeah, your presence, say, say, but show God. your presence Correct. to those who need your presence, Correct. not Correct. those who don't need your presence. Correct. And then when you come in all with your, you know, your, oh, yeah. your chest all yeah, pumped all out, like right. you're getting ready to do something, that's right. say you're coming into the wrong space. Correct. You Absolutely. need to know your audience prior to. Correct. And that's the way they come in too. Like they're oh, I'm all oh, yeah. tough guys. Oh you yeah. Know, I'm gonna rough you oh, up. Yeah. You don't go come but listen to my command. We, you know, we yeah, no, you you're up. gonna have a problem. Yeah. Because it's not your command. Correct. That that's a, unless there was something that I had done where I needed to listen to your, your command. command. No, Correct. we didn't call you. Correct. So that's number one. If we called you, then there was something that we needed to listen to. But since right. we didn't call you, there's nothing that I have to listen to. Right. Correct. At all. So I can ask you nicely or I can tell you in the manner right. in which I choose to tell you. I asked you nicely Correct. the first time. You Correct. need to exit. Right. They don't want to hear And it. you didn't. Yeah. Of course not, because right. I'm a citizen. I'm someone who doesn't carry a badge and doesn't right. have a gun. Correct. Correct. That's what it is. That's See? their power and their right. control. Correct. That's what but I'm a citizen who yeah. has this. Right. The smarts, the right. brains, the brightness to cool. tell you nicely that you need to remove yourself from my premises because I didn't ask for you to be here. Correct. 
That's what it is. That's oh, what they I hate think. that. Oh, yeah. They, they hate that. They definitely they hate that. Smart one. Yeah, small oh. one. They think, you know, they think all of us, they lump us all in the ghetto. Sure we do. We don't have no common sense. Sure do. We all are ignorant. Yeah. In their eyes, that's the way yeah. they see like, Oh, yes. People, you know? Let's finish this up because we are the library is getting ready to close. Oh, yeah, we right. haven't even talked about any of the financial uh, pieces. No, yeah, I'm going to give you my business card oh, okay, because no, the, the conversation you know, itself yeah. was uh, it was so amazing. Oh, I thank you totally yeah. for for getting oh, out yeah, today and coming it, down and, and and visiting us. We do this every single Saturday. Okay. What was what, what was one of your financial questions that you may have? Had? Oh yeah, like I was thinking about. Let's see, I got to be a little more financial response. I'm retired <laughs> myself because <laughs> I make you know, I spend money like I should be. So, <laughs> but I pay my bills. Excellent, I excellent. do pay my rent, my cable, my two pillow, landline, my cell phone, credit card. Mm -hmm. Make sure all my bills are good, paid. Good, Sometimes I go. Like we we out. we yeah. indulge and that's perfectly right. fine. But uh, as we hard. reach now yeah, a I new gotta year, we Correct. gotta start p p pulling it back a little bit Correct. because we've got to make sure that those ducks are in a row. Correct. Now, T's right. are crossed, eyes are dotted because that's going to allow for us to have that financial freedom and that stability that we're looking Correct. for and that's Correct. how we should be maneuvering moving forward now okay. we've had our life of fun and frills and whatever we right. want to say it was but we're now at that age now where we have to put more protections in front of our True. resources True. that's what i gotta learn to do yeah and you probably should set up a retirement or something I can get you already connected with one of okay. my good, good, dear friends. Her name is okay. Dr. Yana B. Woodhouse, and she is, again, oh, okay. someone that I truly, truly love because I'm a credit guy. I'm someone who oh. always wants to make sure that okay. our people have credit That's because good. we're too busy okay. worried about using debit and cash. Debit and cash yeah. don't bill nothing. Yeah, I know they don't. They don't yeah. bill nothing. It tells the entities mm -hmm. that we're giving our debit and cash to, hey, mm -hmm. you go out and build yours. Because right. I'm not in, interested in building my own. I'd right. rather give my money to others so that they can continue to keep building okay. theirs. Right. That doesn't make any sense. Correct. We need to be yeah. using tools that help us build. Right. Correct. So credit is that number yeah, one we have, tool. We had our own bank. Yet, we should. Oh, we should. No, we only have it. It's only yeah. minimal. Only right. minimal because you can't, again, you right. can't give entities that much power because they may grow and they may outgrow those bigger entities. So. Right. Okay. This was all systemic and strategic, but we now need to get smarter because, right. oh, excuse me, because of the fact that we have fintech. Fintech is financial okay. products that are now online, that are now right. able to do what Bank of America does right, right. down here, or, or what Chase, Chase or, or right. what or any bank these, really does, these right. brick and mortar locations. Correct. We know that they've made billions, Correct. and now even trillions, but Correct. what have we, the people, have really benefited from it? Nothing. Right. We've Nothing. been giving them all our money all right. these years. We've right. been using their product all mm -hmm. these years, and we haven't really benefited from it. Even when okay. we think about our retirement packages, right? these retirement packages, right. based off say. what I've learned over just the shortest period of time, they haven't panned out. We still have people working into their 70s. We have people working about. into almost their 80s. Right. Correct. So Walmart greeters and things of that nature. I might really? have to go back too, but mine is more. I can pay my bills, mm -hmm. but I'd like to have a little more spend, probably spending money. Nothing money wrong with that. Somewhere. Absolutely. So I'm 64, so I might have to find something to do. Even well, though I, I tell individuals now to that, make sure yeah. that you're putting the resources that you have. You have to put those into vehicles that are giving you a good return on your investment. Okay. That's mainly okay. the big thing. One shouldn't have to go out and find unless you are able and capable of doing that. But even right. if you are, you got to be careful because sometimes that could affect your Social Security or whatever right. else right. that you right. might be getting Correct. from. So Correct. I look at individuals and I say, OK, learn a new skill. Okay. And the skill that I'm teaching everybody is how to day trade. OK, how okay. to That's day right. trade. This okay. is the game changer of all game changers Okay, because it puts the financial resources right into your hands. Wow, wow. It puts the ability for you to go out and swim with the mm -hmm. big fish. Okay. Okay. And all we have to do when we're swimming with the big fish is follow the big fish. Right. That's totally. it. We don't have to try to control the big fish or tell the big okay. fish, oh, I'm doing my own thing because we're the little fish. Correct. We don't okay. have that much control. We don't have that much power. Okay. So why would we go out there thinking, oh, I'm going to do bigger than better right. than the big guys? Right. You're Correct. not going to do bigger right. than better than right. the big guys. They've been doing that for years and years. So yeah, you might as well yeah, right. follow their movements. Okay. And that's what the markets are, following okay. the big guys' movements. Wow, and once wow. you learn how to do that, mm -hmm. oh, okay. I'm telling you, it's a game changer like nobody's business. I have been 
so impressed. One of and one of my students introduced this to me. I'm a wow. business person, so I knew about right. how to uh, uh, give people my money to invest it, okay. but I never really focused on the return. Oh, so we okay. get happy when we give someone a, uh, when we give someone ten thousand dollars and they put it into right. a CD and they right. give us five percent. Right. That five percent oh, is oh, a oh, joke. Oh, and or something like that. And they give us four and, and seven. Right. Those are jokes. Correct. You're not even putting me in the double digit arena. But yet when we get a credit card from them, mm -hmm. that credit card's got 18, 20, 24 percent interest, which Correct. is a double digit arena for them. So they're getting their stuff mm -hmm. returned in two years, three years, four years when it's taken us 25 years to see our money double. Okay. Wow. That's a problem when you don't know how these things work. You're going to put your money into situations that will not give you a decent return. And that's okay. what we've done over the course of our lives. Cool. And this is why we need to re, oh, excuse me, I, I call it now. I said, I'm not making any New Year's resolutions. Right. I'm making a course correction. Correct. Yeah. And smart. once I made that course correction, I'm like, well, I'm, oh my goodness. Now I'm seeing the rewards that should be coming to me for my money. Correct. Not your money, because once I did the work for you, guess what? That's right. now my money because I got compensated for that work. Mm -hmm. Now I'm going to take my money and I'm going to hopefully put it to work for me but we never learned that our money should be working for us. Correct. We learned that our money mm -hmm. should go into a financial institution, which is gonna allow right. that financial institution to let our yeah. money work for make them. It, right, and they make it money off of your money. Like Chase Bank, you have a savings account with Chase or a checking account. They're making money off They're of your making oodles. Right. Correct. Oodles, oodles, you hear me? Right. Jamie Dimon gets a $4 million or a $6 million salary. Wow. wow. But he gets a sixty million dollar compensation bonus. Wow. Okay. He gets a four to six million dollar yearly salary, but his compensation bonuses are sixty million dollars. Wow. 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 Unbelievable. Because wow. that bank generates money. More money, correct. And all the people that bank at Chase and have savings, whatever they count. Whatever, That's whatever why these is. compensation bonuses are so large because okay. these companies know how to, again, make their money work for, for them. them. Correct. And it's really not their money. It's our no money because money. we keep buying Correct. their goods and services. We keep Correct. putting more and more of our money like into to, Apple. It's like going to, say, Walmart. And you know, by making, uh, you, we were, we bought the Chinese restaurant, we buy Chinese food. Mm -hmm. And they throw the, you know how they can be sometimes. They throw the money back in your hand. They, they got a little way about them. Oh, of know? course. And absolutely. I a lot of them out. I don't <laughs> buy it, but I said, no, put the money in. So put the money on the counter. Put the money in my hand. Mm -hmm. Counter. Somebody can grab that money before I, you know, and be gone. But I put my change in my hand. You know, they don't, the, you know, the, the decent way of doing business. Correct. I completely yeah, understand. Yeah, like they don't understand. It. Oh, no. Yeah. They, 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 you know. But when you allow these companies, and, 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 and again, not going to fault them, it's right. our job to correct them in the manner correct. in which we want to be handled. Correct. You can do that to whomever else you want to do that. And right. I used to have a way of putting the money, folding it, but I would right. always count. And this was another correct. thing that we had to make sure that we do to people too correct. count the money back. Correct. Don't just give me a dollar and 50 or whatever correct. it is. Here's right. that. You count it back. Because then this way, they know you gave them the right change. Because some of them get home, they look and they go, oh, wait a minute, I didn't get the right stuff. Right. Now they call him back. We used to have a lot of these types of situations oh, yeah. going on. Going. Yeah. Once you leave the place, that's it. You can't go. Yeah, that's, on, that's on you. Yeah. And I hate to have that. Anything in the restaurant. You go to rest out to eat for a bar. You go out to eat. I had something like that happen uh, over here. Like, well, we were playing since waiting mm -hmm. for that day. a couple of weeks ago. I think it was. My man and went up and had three beers and spring water, french fries. He charged me what he charged me. I'm saying that can't be correct. I can count, but I didn't argue with it. I right. just paid it. I, that's what well, they had that me. now 18% right. gratuity. Yeah, that's and that's what, automatic now. Correct. That's I'm looking at I them got. like, well, well, who ordered gratuity? Right. Because ain't nobody. Yeah, gratuity. <laughs> I'm saying, that's what I'm saying. Now I'm saying, what the heck is this now? Yeah. I'm they right. will find ways. Find ways. France just. France and a couple of other European countries just mm -hmm. basically say they're not selling any more Coca or Pepsi because right. Pepsi oh, wow. jacked its price up. Wow. And I was thinking about that in my head when they did that. And I was like, well, right. this is what's going on in America Correct. because everything has been jacked up so high. You mm -hmm. jack the prices up, but you never bring them back down. All right. I go to the shop right now. I'm spending just for me. Mm -hmm. I'm only one person. I live by myself. Mm -hmm. so when I go do a big shopping, what I got to do? Over hundred something dollars. Like, uh, the meat. How, how much meat do I have here? Chicken, couple pieces of chicken, mm -hmm. maybe some pork chops or ribs. That's about it. 
and has over not over like it used to be hundreds of thousands yes, sir. Of this one person yes sir I'm saying, it's not like it used to be correct. i went one one bag right correct. sixty dollars used about. to be about two years three yeah. years ago sixty dollars i was walking out correct. with like three or four bags correct that's it man you talking about one bag yeah, now we're going the price of food man it's like we wonder why people are going hungry you got to go to the you can't afford it you can't afford it you but go to yet if the government to were to again literally just roll right. into these uh cities these municipalities these correct little small uh communities and roll in started doing what i used to do when right. i was working for one of the grocery stores we mm -hmm. used to go in and scan the prices right correct. audit prices correct. wondering why wait a minute hold right. on correct. according it's, to the manufacturer this is right. supposed to be a dollar 25. how come yeah. you got it at 350. i think they do that right up here absolutely all of them because they can get away with it all you got to do is go oh, into the computer matter which type in the computer whatever matter. price you want yeah. Oh, hit that, put that label up Correct. there, and guess what? People are paying it. Correct. Student lending, shop right, it doesn't matter. Every Acting single needs. last yes. one, one of them. them. When you remove the oversight, and that's Correct. the problem, the oversight. We have no more oversight okay. doing what it's supposed to be doing. Correct. Because you give carte blanche to everyone because now they know the mayor, right. and they know the commissioner, and they know all of these individuals, and they mm -hmm. will not do because guess what? As you said earlier, Correct. kickback. 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 Yeah. Somebody getting a kickback from it. Correct. That's so as right. long as they're getting yeah. a kickback from it, why do they worry? As long as their yeah. pockets are not well, being yeah. affected, affected by it, correct. why should they worry? Correct. We the citizens can complain and complain and complain, just like Mayor Spano. Mm -hmm. Okay. You got voted once. Right. Correct. You got voted twice. Right. Correct. You took the third, and then you said to the fourth, they'll just put right. up a little sham type right. of little voting privilege and Correct. let the people think that they got some say so. But right. you went and snatched that one too. And then you turned around and gave yourself a seventy thousand dollar oh, pay increase. Oh man. Seventy thousand dollar pay increase. Plus, you're the president of the IDA, the right. ones who's deciding to make all of these new buildings, buildings and things here, around here. Down here by the waterfront, all of them. Yeah, because you think because you think rich folks is going to come here. What yeah. is there in Yonkers for rich folks? Right. You know what they think because it's on the water and it's accessible. Well, what are you looking at? Off. Right, the bridge, the door. Am I looking at? I'm looking at a big brick wall over there. Right. Correct. I'm not looking at anything. I lady, I went with. She was a traveling nurse. So I met her one night of Guapo a couple of years ago. So I met up Guapo. We didn't have a drink coming on. So I walked the home. She had to go get the dog and take him out. So I walked the home. Now they go up. She didn't write me up mm -hmm. the first time. So I just went to walk to make sure she got in with the dog. She said she got to fucking get the dog. I got a pool I think she did. Yeah, she had a pool well. So she was a travel So she lived in one of the, I think she lived in the one. Over there on this other side, mm -hmm. you know, one bedroom. So I'm looking at her. I live on Harriet Street, so mm -hmm. 100 Harriet. So I'm looking at her. I feel the apartment is nice, but it's not so great about it. But her company was paying her rent. She, you know, but she was a travel nurse, so they paid the rent mm -hmm. for her. She was working in Teaneck, New Jersey. So I met her and all like that. The apartment is no better than my apartment. What? No bigger. The bedroom's These got the same size. New buildings that Correct. they built are garbage. They are. They it's are garbage. Correct. Garbage. Thin walls. Correct. Again, windows that you, 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 you got to be careful. You don't lean too hard on them because guess Correct. what? You might be on no. the ground. Correct. Right. I mean, the appliances. Again, <laughs> and you you have the audacity to call it a luxury building. Correct. Well, luxury, according to the definition of luxury. Of, of luxury, luxury. exuberance, right. five right. stars and above. Correct. You got right. two star uh, uh, appliances. You right. got stuff that are breaking down on day one when you use it. That's right. not luxury. That's not luxury. No, luxury ain't that. Matted walls. Right. Well, well, and luxury right will. Here, your whole conversation. About, you know, luxury, yeah. you have the molding across the ceiling. You Correct. have stuff that really stands out. Marble, marble in the bathrooms and all. That's luxury. That's luxury. That's then you luxury. can charge three and four That's and five thousand dollars for Correct. that. But Correct. for 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 garbage. Correct. And you want to charge three and four thousand dollars for garbage? That's, what they're down That's here. exactly what they're paying down here. Even more. Correct. A studio yeah, cost got... you twenty five hundred dollars. Wow. wow! Something this size. size a studio in this about like this size. Twenty five hundred dollars, man. Unreal. That's unreal to pay that kind of money on a minimum uh, wage salary. Right. How are you going to pay that now? You You're not going to be able to. You're, pay that. You're not. You're right. not. So they have these constant cycles of where people are getting evicted. They're getting right. again all these horrible things when the country should be making sure that we are protected but you're not going to protect us because as they stated 
Most right. of these people who are building these buildings are congressmen. They have right. some investments. Anytime right. you have investments in companies where mm -hmm. you're going to regulate those companies, you're not going to be able to regulate those companies in the manner in which you're supposed to because right. you have some form of an investment. Correct. So either you get out of the business of Congress mm -hmm. or you get into the business of business, but you can't right. be in Congress doing business. Correct. That's why you have to stop calling these oh we cut and deal. But they also say they got 10% of uh, section 8. But what is 10%? 10 when That's you got 50, 60% of the individuals right. who are still living almost uh, one paycheck to paycheck. Right. Correct. You got a large population who's homeless. Correct. 10% is not enough. No, you need to enough. raise it up to 20, 25%. Uh, you're not getting the people to come down here to live oh, here. No. You're not mm -hmm. getting them. No. So why not again get that money from right. the states and which you look at that one uh, next to the front sixty six Main Street the I've new one in, that they get ready to build oh no the one now right next to Francis Brady the Irish bar and restaurant on the corner up the street the you go up the street a little bit there's that one on that back end that they get ready before. to build and remember I don't know if you knew the shoemaker Mr Wesley used to have the shoemaker shop on off road the name sounds familiar I know it, I, yeah. been in business mm -hmm. over fifty years mm -hmm. so he invited me to a photography exhibition he said. Of how the youngest used to be used to mm -hmm. the pigeons mm -hmm. going back to the trolley cars and all that. Stuff. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah. 66 is across right. from the, and right. they used to be called Tyrone's. That's Correct. why I remember the, uh, right. the, the yeah. bars so and bar and yeah. So they got a basketball court in there. I see sunroof. Got the gym and all with the all this, the way freelance way. But I went into up. one of the apartments and I was appalled. Yeah, I never been in the park. I was appalled. One of my yeah. friends lived there. She had a big bubble in her living okay. room. I mean, wow. in her living in her in her bedroom. I mean, not a bedroom, but in the kitchen. She had a oh, wow. big, huge bubble in the floor. Oh shoot! Wow. In my apartment, the second one that they had to give me, mm -hmm. I was taking a shower after I'd moved in, okay. and I was taking a shower. And after I took that shower, the water went into the bathroom oh, and it wow. went all the way into the bedroom because oh, they didn't do that right. one thing. They didn't lower yeah. the uh, right. drainage area, Correct. just a, a fraction of a, uh, of a centimeter oh, to let wow. the water cascade down. They had everything oh, at the same man. level. So the water wasn't going down, it was okay. going out. Wow, wow. Oh, and I, I went down and asked the guy- You live there now, right? No, I don't live there now. No? I, I'm not giving nobody my bread. Oh, I oh, can't do that. Oh, well, I'm well, not giving anybody right. my money to right. live in squalor. I don't care what you call it. Right. I will find a reasonable price and you can't buy anything here reasonable price because no, you everything can. you're thinking about buying is 700 800,000 and then you right. have to spend another 700 800,000 just updating the infrastructure. Right, correct. Yes. The yeah. piping, everything that might be right. underneath oh, there right. is you're talking about the house right here. Yeah. Yes. Right. Yeah. Yes, and the new stuff that you get that you're getting ain't worth the price of it right. as well because the new stuff is garbage. Correct. That's what I figured. Yeah. So my thing is if I do happen to buy something then I'm going to buy some land and then we'll put a house on it. Smart. Own house That's what I'm gonna do from yep. scratch, from house. the bottom, right? Correct. And then put all of the specs and specifications, everything that I need to make sure that it's done so right. that it will last another 20, 30, 40, like 50, 100. Lady, I was talking to the lady I met up here, when we had, you know, you know, I'd stay with her down here and go home. Mm -hmm. she, she has a trailer home, so I went down to see her years ago. So she's in the country part of North Carolina, she's back home working down here. And she gave up traveling, you know, the nursing travel, mm -hmm. she got tired. Of, Doing that, going in Minnesota, living out of suitcase. I guess you do get tired. <laughs> you, get, you get do get tired sure right after a while. Mm -hmm. you know, living out of basically a suitcase. So she makes good money. I know that. But so I, you know, I haven't talked to. I called her up, but you know, she's. I guess she's working all the time. Yeah. So she has a trailer home. So I went down there years ago. But this in the country. Mm -hmm. Nice, you know, nice trail. Oh, home some of those places there. are pretty decent. Yeah, it is a nice trail mm -hmm. home. Mm -hmm. She got there. Yeah, no. Yeah. We got to wrap this up. Oh, yeah. I had my audience okay. here for quite some time, and I'm sure they loved listening to our conversation. But democracy is a system of government in which power mm -hmm. is vested in the hands of the people, either directly or through elected representatives. In a democracy, in a de de democratic system, citizens typically have the right to participate in decision making process, either by voting directly on issues or by electing as representatives to make decisions on their behalf. And this is where we have gotten away from it because our elected officials believe that they can control, they can do whatever they want to do. Correct. As for the question of whether America is the best country in the world, it this is subjective and depends on individual's perspective, which I agree. Correct. Different people may have different criteria for evaluating the greatness of countries such as economic prosperity, political stability, 
cultural uh, diversity, social justice, and individual freedoms. It's important to note that opinions on this matter can vary widely, which I, I think is so important. That's why I like chat GPT. Oh, okay. Chat GPT for me yeah. is a tool, and I say people should get comfortable with using this tool. Oh, okay. While the United States has been a global economic and military yeah. power and has a long history of, of de democratic governance, it also faces challenges and criticism. Factors such as social inequality, political polarization, and historical issues like systemic racism are subjects of ongoing debate and discussion, which is so, so, so true. And the only way for us Correct. to get away from these things is we need to have these conversations. Correct. We need to talk mm -hmm. more about and talk in a manner in which it's being received. Mm -hmm. Just don't be just be talking this, be talking. Right. That Correct. that's a that's a huge problem. Correct. The phrase "Who are we?" is a profound and introspective question that goes beyond political leaders. It encourages individuals to reflect on their values, in, in identify and collective characters of their societies. The diversity of opinions, backgrounds, and experience within a country like the United States contributes to its complexity and richness as a nation. It's essential to engage in open and respectful. There it is, dialogue respectful to dialogue. A diverse perspective That's it. In a society, and we're going to address some challenges to enforce the unity of the body, the perception of a country being the best is subjective judgment that can vary based on individual experiences and values. But I love the fact that it Correct. says fostering unity. Correct. If we that's get out of our own way a, and start really problem. focusing Correct. on how we can unify, right. we're the, the United problem. States of America, or Correct. are we going to be the divided states of America? Right. It's we, not that hard it's to like figure that out. Like we hate on each other. I speak to these people, even men or old, mm -hmm. say hello. I don't want nothing from you. you know nothing. I mean? And you say hello, they look at you. Or the ones yeah. that I get, well, good morning. What's so good about the morning? I know. What? And I looked at him and I go, well, you're alive. Right. You that's woke what, up. That's what I told people. You're alive. A lot of people didn't wake up this morning. Thank you. We all got problems. You I got problems. Do. I try not to bring them out the street. I got problems. Yeah, I, my life ain't all rosy and I'm living in the, got plenty of mu much money. I can mm -hmm. go, you know, I ain't. I can do what I need to do, but right. it could Correct. be better if I be apply awesome. and put things into a right. better condition for Correct. myself. Yes. Correct. But I'm not going to wallow in my sorrows because right. I don't have really much to be sorry or sorrow right. about. Yeah, right. I, I got, got roof over my head. I got clothes, clothes on my back, food to eat. You know, I got a few luxuries. I, and I got a television. I there got we are. That, you know, yep. so I'm not rich. I'm far from that. Far from rich, but yeah. I'm still I'm doing right. better than I was the day before. And that's Correct. how we should be going about our processes, so making sure that we're bettering ourselves every single day. Definitely. Every well, single definitely. day. But I'm ladies and gentlemen, that. Lady that, uh, that you said Dr. Yanabi, yes, yeah. I'll give your I'll give your number in just a minute. Oh, but uh, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for uh, listening to our conversation. I had a great conversation with uh, what's your first name? Oh, uh, Roy. I had a great conversation with Roy. Roy decided to stop by the Yonkers Public Library and indulge us with his knowledge. And I'm looking forward to seeing Roy again at any time. But I want to thank all of you who always participate with our conversations on Saturdays. Thank you very much. As always, be safe, America. Thank you.